Everybody, welcome in our buddy Jason Daggett. He is our uh, producer who's been working with us recently, and he is the absolute homie, and he's here hanging out, and we're going to talk about drowning. (laughs) (laughs) Hey. All right. We're having fun. What's your... All right, Justin. You're 15 years old. It's it's middle of summer. You're at a lake, twenty five foot high dive into the water. Cute girl, cute girl, stand at the bottom. One you've been you've been dying to get a a malt shake with. <laughs> <laughs> What's your move? I'm saying toots. Hey toots. I you don't have to talk to me. <laughs> gonna show it. Hey look at this. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that okay. So. What's your go to move? Do drown because. I- <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't dealing with that. I, what do you mean, dude? I can't. I'm, I'm <laughs> you so wipe the coyote off and drown. I'm so embarrassed at this point. I so don't. you'd rather be dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason. Uh, what would you do? What's your move, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> Just in panic, the joke. <laughs> no. The, uh, yeah, G- Jason. What What would you do in this scenario? Twenty five feet up. 25 feet up. Water safe. A, there's no dangers. I, I forgot okay. how high up Free to it do whatever was, you to want. be fair. You're 15. I'm just closing my eyes and I'm jumping. Not doing and anything? Just like pencil in it? Or like, what are you, what's your move? You're just I like your arms are out? Like, <laughs> are you doing that? Like, are you doing that panicking <laughs> where you start Luigi running in the air and you <laughs> tilt forward just, and just hit your face on the water? <laughs> yeah. Just ragdoll <laughs> physics down. Yeah, no. Uh, I wasn't, I was never much of a diver. I don't know about you guys. That, I didn't have any like, What about a cannonball? Is that too showboat? Is uh, that too? The cannonball is pretty sick. I feel like Badass there's a, there's a thin cannonballs. line between people being like, I love the cannonball guy, and I really wish he'd stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cannonball guy. Like, I feel like if you've ever been to a public pool, there's, I don't know, there seems to be always like a big dude, and everyone's like, ah, oh, come on, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in. Yeah. We want to give us waves. We're all little kids. Dude, Whoa. dude, my thing was, I specifically remember being a fat kid and people being like, yeah, cannonballs are cool, but we really only just want to see you do the cannonball because, because <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, it's fun to do that, just running and saying, "Fuck but you!" you make a guard. big splash, and it's funny. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't have the mass like you, little little fat f- uh, fifth grader. Um, please show yeah. us how it's done, fatty. <laughs> this, is, this is a random segue, but it, it deals with water and. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's the only we are talking about do. doing cannonballs. I know. <laughs> that's all I wanted to just bring up. It's so water associated with that. You know those big uh, blob things you put in the water, and like somebody sits on the end of one, and another like person noodles? jumps off, and yeah. they fly into the oh, sky. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you know when those first got released, so that somebody fucking died from one of those <laughs> because there wasn't like rules set on how you were supposed to sit on them. So you're supposed to sit flat on it, so when you get launched, it's like across your whole body. Mm-hmm. But he was sitting upright, so when the they like three people jumped on the end, it was so much force oh, that fuck. his neck shot back so hard <laughs> oh. from the launch that he literally broke his neck. And then when he hit the water, he drowned because he had a broken neck. Are you fucking serious? So like on oh. the whi- the whiplash from takeoff snapped his neck, and was so was flying through the sky with a broken neck. This actually happened. Yeah, this is a real thing that happened. That they, they had to like. Oh my uh, god! Like say that you can only ha- do one person at a time. On like, please, the like, kids do not. Seed one person jumping, yeah, because some kid fucking whiplash died hardcore, dude. That that'd be pretty fucking gnarly. awful. Just summertime with your buds, that's brutal, homie, fucking you know, wounded birds through the air. Yeah, like, yeah. well, that was that looked pretty bad. Hey, Brandon, you okay? Like, oh god, oh, fuck. fuck. So we now know his name was Brandon. <laughs> I, that, was a, that was just a throwaway. Name. I have no idea. It don't matter. Famous. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't why I was defending it. I uh, just threw, okay, well, I don't. I feel kind of bad. I don't remember be- every name from every. <laughs> I just. Weird dad. Um, like, I don't know the segue guy's name either. I was the one guilty of cracking the joke and laughing the hardest at my own joke just now. So yeah, sometimes pretty, it happens. Uh, some t- that's, sometimes you have a self banger and that's fine. Self banger or Please masturbation. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't say my cool move, dude. Your, oh yeah, what oh, was yeah, your yeah. move? You guys familiar with the jackknife? The jackknife. Oh, I've heard the, of it. The, but the half cannonball, half pencil, right? You, like a flip, though? Oh, you a flip? Dude, at that height, you can get away with a lot of things. Mm. That sounds really... That, didn't really, <laughs> that sounded like some of the implication. Mm. <laughs> like, you could do you could do a gainer off that. I definitely wouldn't. That sounds scary. <laughs> but 
I feel like I'd hit my head off if I tried to do that. Uh, but a front flip. I'm a confident front flipper. I could do that into water. Mm. So maybe a front flip. You're maybe a front, front flipper? Fl- yeah. Okay. I definitely am a front I, I used to try backflips, but I, I actually backflipped off a trampoline when I was really young, and I, <laughs> my legs went into the springs, and I folded over, and I hit my neck on the bar on the bottom, at like you know the triangle piece that holds up, and it cracked my neck. Um like it was the first time I like my neck had ever cracked. Like, you, have you ever had that moment where your your neck cracks for the first time and it's like, uh, oh yeah, stuck like your just pain, now. the the yeah. pain from mm-hmm. it is just yeah. It was one of those things. I thought it was something more severe because I had never experienced that, and I just hit my neck on a metal bar. We have kind of been scared of backflips ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You want, you want to know what happened to me? Yeah. Uh, so this is going back to the whole like uh, decision, like cute girl at the. Like watching you jump twenty five feet into the water. Right, <laughs> like, right. Okay. So the reason I answered just drown and kill myself is because um, you recognize how frail humanity. No, there, there, <laughs> there was legitimately a time we had this rope swing that was like ungodly terrifying. That we would uh, we <laughs> we would float the river and we would hit this uh, this point in the river. So. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get older. I've done this rope swing a few times. I need to show my friends that, like, I'm committed yeah, to this friendship. I got to, you know, I got to keep things exciting. Especially if you're bringing them to it, you got to be like, oh, dude, oh, I'm already mastered at this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You got to show off. I, I'm the one showing these people yeah. where the rope swing is. Right. I'm like, hey, guys, we got to stop like here you, because like you is, introduce people to a new game or something. Yeah, we got to. We better be good at this. We've been shotgunning <laughs> this whole. on you. Yeah, we've been sh- shotgunning this whole trip. If we don't shotgun here and, you know, jump into the river, like, a few <laughs> times, like. Was this a walk to remember? Uh, (laughs) Maybe, but... um, (laughs) Yeah, I just remember uh, (laughs) just trying to... A walk I did. (laughs) Yeah. Like Christ. uh, (laughs) Everyone else has like a floaty. They're floating down the river, but I'm like some form of Jesus. I'm just walking on the water like, (laughs) I've floated this river four times. (laughs) Oh, you're professional. (laughs) Got you. Thy holiest of all holy floaters. (laughs) Did you end up wiping out or something? So what ended up happening is I climbed to the very top, like the Uh about like 20, 25 feet up. I'm I'm scared. I'm really scared. This is like a fast river. Right. And I'm about to jump in from a really high point. And I jump off. I'm like, oh, thank God I jumped off, so I'm not going to hit the rocks now. What ended up uh, transpiring was I fucking started like trying I trying to dive mm-hmm. because I was like, that would be the smartest thing. Like, I won't fuck up a uh, part of my body this way. And I start diving. I start turning as I'm going down. But I... Too fucking late, man. My belly just oh, perfectly no. from 25 <laughs> feet, dude. No this shit. Is a walk to remember. <laughs> dude, I no fucking shit. Have you guys seen that movie? Dude, I <laughs> literally have to. Happens. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> They like get this kid to try to join like their friend group. Like, come on, be cool, jump oh off the pier, do a belly flop, and he fucking hits a pole in the water. Oh my <laughs> he, god! Like, he tries well, that's to jump, worse. And he's like, Whoa, and he fucking belly flops. That's significantly worse than yeah. my story. But what ended up happening is I I belly flopped so hard that my whole body just shut down for a second. <laughs> I was in so much pain that I couldn't swim, dude. I was like right. sinking Ooh. to the bottom. <laughs> I was like, like oh, the wind knocked out of you. This is it. <laughs> I'm never yeah. coming back up, but luckily that girl, she's never going to see me ever again. So <laughs> I'll thank never God. Be How fortunate of me. <laughs> what, a, what a thing to think as you're sinking to the bottom of uh, <laughs> Your last thoughts. Ah, uh, uh, yes, I deserved oh, this, this all along. <laughs> your last thoughts are, this is probably for the better because I really could not face the shame of the surface world Exactly. Right that, that's exactly where my brain was going. Dude, that's so funny. You you have a you have a near death uh, drowning experience, Jason? No. Yeah. No, 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 I can't say so. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You haven't fucking almost died underwater. What the fuck? <laughs> He's a smart man. He knows the, the dangers of the vast oceans. Oh. The vast Damn waters. <laughs> we did. I did. The murky a- abyss. <laughs> I to completely change the vibe though. I did have a classmate drowned. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. maybe learn how to swim. <laughs> Jesus. He's dead, Jesus. Jesus. It's fine. It's true. <laughs> it's so fucking true. Okay, what happened? That was it. Like a bad situation. It wasn't good, but the- <laughs> I mean, no, no, it, it was horrible. But- I, I love the answer to. So how was the drowning? Well, it wasn't good. <laughs> I give this drowning a four. <laughs> 
like somebody's ever been like, so how was the drowning? Oh, great. It was so swell. Everyone Real was easy. So it was really, really Kid good. Kid popped right out. We were only out there an hour. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hilarious. Hardly even noticed he drowned. No, it was super sad. He, uh, they were like rafting with a bunch of other uh, classmates. I don't know how mm-hmm. else to say. They weren't really friends. Non-drownies. But, um, yeah. <laughs> the ones who lived. <laughs> so fucking drownies. <laughs> fucking drownies. <laughs> 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 drowny as an insult. Oh. Drowny. It takes Normie God, to a whole new fucking uh, <laughs> level. Yeah. No, but he uh, he went under and his life uh, life jacket whatever got caught on a a root oh, underneath. No. Oh God, yeah. that's horrible. Yeah, that is Man. absolutely horrifying. And the worst Terrifying. part about the whole thing was that his funeral was on the day of one of my shows. <laughs> So oh my god. I could not sell yeah, my like, tickets. Right. I missed um, <laughs> you're like uh, hey def- everyone in my class, you yeah, know, you're all come busy. Come on, oh, we'll come no, to the, the make show. Yeah, yeah, Definitely yeah. not as serious of a thing, Damn. but uh, I, rest I, in peace drown kid though. That's, yeah, RIP uh, that's fucked. unfortunate. I know we're making jokes about it, but for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> RIP, I would not want to go. Really I would not want to go that way. Uh, but in a lighter like related note uh, I did miss a show. I did not drown. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, um, I missed uh, my close cousin's wedding to play a fucking shitty ass show out in Bremerton or something. Oh, Bremerton. It, it was before ooh, you You ooh, were in the band, ooh. Abby. You weren't even in the band. I was like, oh my God. hey, mom, I, you know, I love this family, but like, I cannot but miss I love this show right tour. now. There's no way. There's no way. I have to play this show. And, and she's sobbing. Okay. And look at me now. Because I played, <laughs> because I'm like, still alive. I didn't drown. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Didn't Jeez. drown. That, you that's, know, that, dude, I wish I had the foresight to put that as my high, my high school quote. <laughs> the year quote didn't drown. <laughs> that's Jesus. It. That's, yeah. Or that's a good epitaph on your gravestone. As long as you obviously don't drown. <laughs> if, you, if you die from any other thing. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be funny. You tell people, "Hey, if I ever die, just put didn't drown." <laughs> did and then you, you end up drowning. You're like, well, should we still put it? <laughs> Austin, did you uh, ever, wanted. ever like play drown? a show and miss something kind of weirdly important <laughs> to your family? Or, um, maybe I don't know. Perhaps got to think about it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not super tight with my family, so I don't know. Really, I don't know. My family had a weird like. We're all. Soup. Together, Every weekend, there's, there's something going on. Mm-hmm. Barbecues, and it just got lame. It got so lame <laughs> so fast. Family's lame. Yo, mom, you want that lame shit? I'm out. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I said. Lame, lame. I grabbed my hair straightener and I got the frick I out of there. I grabbed my hair straightener. I got into my 1999 fucking Civic Honda and I said, poop, poop, see you later, bitch. Yeah, 100%. I scuttled on out of there and I didn't even close the gate behind me. No, I have to shut the gate because my dad would be pissed <laughs> if I don't shut the gate. And I'm not trying to get that fucking uh, voicemail again. Hey, Justin, I uh, thought I'd talk to you about this, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> gotta start closing that gate, man. Yeah, I got the fucking clip in here. It's hilarious, actually. You know, if my goat gets out, I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> my- oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's, uh- Probably not talk about no, that. Yeah, I, that, was, that was just for us. You don't have to go into yeah. detail at all. <laughs> It's just like, you know, you shoot or she sees a shot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't even think right now where the voicemail would be. It's in here, though. Oh, God. Isn't that the beauty of the human experience, though? Sometimes you don't even have to think. You can just drift wait, wait, as a I, jellyfish. Okay, I think I got it right here. Just electrical yeah, impulse suggestion. Dad, why didn't you shut the gate? I just passed you on the wish car road. You have left the gate open. You got to start shutting it, okay? I've had a talk with you about that before. No, no fucking bye. My dad was—he was pissed. He was like, "I'm not, I'm not saying bye." I love that he kind of voice. Right I love that he kind of sounds nervous. Like he's like he knows that you're gonna push further away from this, but he's like, "I have to be a dad and stand up for myself." I'm like kind of scared. Justin, <laughs> I forgot to close the boot. And honestly, I thought this. That you, Took this seriously <laughs> when you said earlier you would shut the gate and you didn't shut the gate. <laughs> what the heck? When you told me that you were going to shut the gate of the mayorville and you didn't. <laughs> what impression is that? That's I like a, the, the mayor of The Simpsons, right? Yes. God, what a weird <laughs> accent. 
I don't know what that is. It's like not even an accent. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a it, robot. It's like talking with a delay, but it's also monotone. Open throat. Yeah. I'm going to talk so weird. You ever think of uh, what if life is, is just a Sims thing for God and he just gets <laughs> pleasure out of us suffering? And that's yeah. why things like that happen? What you just said to me, like, to the, to the God, sounds like, yeah, because Gabadish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we're, 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 get a we're that, just uh, adults in a Charlie Brown cartoon. That's That would be fucking hilarious, a skit of... Um, it's an allegory about neglect and abuse, Justin. It's not funny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, what if that? Uh, what Very if you serious discussion? What, what if you could seriously just uh, <laughs> hang out with your dog and a bird? No, like just play a regular episode of Charlie Brown, but put actual dialogue and context with the parents whenever they would come in and talk. Put subtitles. <laughs> and it's just like you, you see the kids playing with, like the kid with the blankie. He's just like sucking his thumb, just like kind of smiling. Blainous, dude. And then the fucking parent comes in. You hear instead of wah wah wah, it's just like I've had it up to here, <laughs> It's just a me canyon yeah, skit. It's that me canyon <laughs> skit. No, hilarious. Yeah. Day day, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh fuck, it's the cops. Day day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, Jason's uh <coughs> Jason's been how long have we been friends now, Jason? How long it's have been you been a, made of milk again? Uh, <laughs> the ninety seven? Uh, is this uh four, four, is this post Nirvana or is this Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first thing that happened. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah, out of that band. The, the first thing Nirvana. that I ever changed to milk. I was born <laughs> into Nirvana, and I had the milk phase. Yeah. And then I became shaved roll. Yeah, that's right. And to anyone that hasn't gotten the fucking joke yet, um, just Justin's mind is slipping, and we're just going along with it. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> just Google fucking Dave Grohl and Google Dave Grohl. <laughs> Something a kid has probably said to a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Just Google Dave Grohl. <laughs> that is something you hear in high school for sure. I don't know why. I've heard that sense. like multiple times. Who, yeah, because a teacher would be like, you'd reference Dave Grohl in like a like a like an essay you wrote, and she'd be like, "Who's Dave Grohl?" And be like, "Google Dave Grohl, really?" <laughs> in in uh, my scenario, I had there was this band teacher. Love that website. <laughs> there, <laughs> my scenario. My com. scenario. <laughs> there was this band teacher. <laughs> Oh my god. We had this band teacher that was like really trying hard to be youthful Fucking and young. Try hard ass band teacher. <laughs> it really was. like somebody that gets bullied by students. I think his name was Mr. <laughs> try hard band teacher. I'm not gonna say his name, but like uh <laughs> what an insult. It really was. He like watched School of Rock and it changed his life. Oh he was like, I wanna be that in <laughs> real life. He, he's the the Jack Black's ex bandmate in that scenario. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so god. Deep black metal <laughs> inside Jack. of him. Like, oh God, I want to do was, that. What was Jack Black's name in School of Rock? Jack Black. <laughs> it was just Jack Black. It was Jablinski. <laughs> Jablinski. Yeah, well, that was his cool name to the kids. Um, but fuck. But butt fuck. fuck. Hey. Hey, oh. first butt fuck of the night. Ooh, Can I get some good. butt fucks in chat? Hey, man. Uh, when you call a gay dinosaur. <laughs> Why are you going gay dinosaur, well, bro? Oh my, don't. I'm not doing this again, Abby. No more. No more tricks. Mega sore ass, bro. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. You brought up elementary school and that made me think of that because I heard that way too many times when I was in school. I never heard that. So thank you for that. Dude, I grew actually. up in the country. Everyone was racist and homophobic. <laughs> so. Everyone had fucking, tr like, it was so weird, dude. All the, the people that bullied me were hicks that were wealthy. It was so dumb. Yeah. How do you get, how do you get to do that? Yeah. yeah. What? How does that it, make sense? It was like hick for for clout before clout existed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was it was literally for an image, like because we went to Graham Kapowson, so it was like yeah. a country school, mm -hmm. and so people would wear like two hundred dollar Romeos and Carhartts and shit, and they're clean as fuck. I'm like, what do you? Why do you like look like you work at a lumber yard and you're sixteen? Yeah. You know, it's like fresh as fuck. <laughs> it sucks, man. I get free lunches. <laughs> Free, I get free lunches. You out here with a studded fox belt? <laughs> no Your family you owned dirt bikes. What no, the fuck? Yeah, fox <laughs> racing, dude. Fox racing was a huge staple. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. like kids that didn't even really ride motorcycles. They were just rocking the fox racing. Mm -hmm. Dude, I remember rocking my fucking Payless ass discount shoes and being like, one day I'm gonna buy a pair of fucking. 
DCs, bro. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I uh, it's gonna change the game. I'm gonna start skating real good. Change the game, yeah. Get some DCs, dude. I used to rock a ACDC hat for no shit two years. Remember the? I had a vessels. <laughs> no beanie. shit, two years. Uh, yeah, no. When I, I was, shit you not two full years. I had like this fucking curly ass hair, and I just always had this ACDC hat, the same hat every single day. And like impressions it, of this voice. What? Do you ever do impressions of his voice? Who? Oh, Bon Scott or yeah, like vocals to ACDC. Well, which one? There's two. To have one when you were a kid. Well, I listened to both. I was a fucking diehard, Austin. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I was talking yeah. to a tryhard. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. God damn. <laughs> you just start teaching band just yeah, but- <laughs> <laughs> you seem to know a lot about yeah, music. Remember that, uh, remember that motherfucker I was talking shit about? It's actually like what I really want to be. Like it's who I am. So please don't. It's, it's what I see. Please don't mirror. laugh at my jokes too hard because I'm actually really fucking internalizing all of the shit you're saying right now. You guys ever go to hookah bars when that was a craze for a I year? Did. Dude, I lived. I absolutely did. And then remember when they all just stopped? <laughs> yep. Did they? Was they like illegal or something? Like, who, did they not have licensing, or did they just realize that hookah in a confined space was just a bad call? No, they just realized uh, there Health was hazard. one of two options: We're just too gross. smoking cigarettes looked way cooler, <laughs> or uh, I mean, fucking weed's legal now, so it's like you know, weed's so much better than hookah. I I That's enjoy fair. everything about this. I'm not like but asleep or hookah lightheaded. Was that middle ground for kids that liked yep. weed but didn't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. That's uh, I guess it turned into the vape then. Yeah, I guess yeah, that makes sense, that's actually. True. That's a good point. Actually, you know what? That's Goddamn actually probably AI for sure over. why it, it stopped, is that vape culture blew up. Yeah. Yep. Yo, so I actually really wanted to talk about something with y'all today. Um, not Slipknot. Why am I typing in Slipknot? <laughs> Sick, but like... Was it that the guy from... Re- <laughs> was it that one of the cops... <laughs> Imagine he just threw up the horns. Sick, but... Uh, uh, anyway. But also, uh, did you, is it that you wanted to talk about um, the fact that one of the guys... The cops for Reno 911 is also the voice of the Taco Bell dog. What? No. Did you know that? What, what are you, you talking about? What I'm Taco Belling about <laughs> is that one of the cops in Reno 911 is the voice actor for the Taco Bell dog from the 90s Taco Bell commercials. Taquito Taco Bell. With who? The, the deputy with the really thick mustache. Thick really, mustache. He's shorter. Okay. He's got dark hair. Oh, no hair. shit. It's really? like a bull cut type of like cut. Yeah. He's kind of like one of the like off to the side cops. Yeah. He's not like he's not the side main cop. one that's been in like Mad TV and shit. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember his actual name. He's a comedian too. Um, he's Hispanic background. But uh, yeah, he did the fucking voice of the Taco Bell dog from the early nineties. That's just hilarious. Was that's adorable. Hilarious to find out. I love that. I, I love always the... remember that little stereotypical ass <laughs> dog. It was like if that was out now, it'd be, people would be like, "This is so offensive." <laughs> like, wait, what? Like Taco Bell's <laughs> hardly Mexican food. <laughs> There's like, uh, yeah. Right, oh yeah, man. <laughs> I love Come the on, cabron, let's go, man. This kid's on tacos. You're like, uh, is this guy white doing? Like, who's What's doing going this on? Yeah. yeah. Is this what Mexico's <laughs> actually <Cholo>. like? <laughs> oh, did he just? Chono taco. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. That makes me think of like a Carlos Mencia like comedy oh, sketch or something. God. Or remember uh, Mind of Mencia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my, uh, Mind of Mencia, man. Yeah. What the fuck was that? That was to so come. bad. It was always on Comedy Central. I almost can't even picture in my head what Mencia looks like anymore because of how much I watched the George Lopez show and how <laughs> long it's been since I've seen Carlos Mencia yeah. as a person that that's every time I think of him I just see George Lopez George Lopez and Carlos Mencia same person just no, no 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 don't disrespect Lopez like that dog yeah for real Carlos mm-hmm. is a disgrace of a human being Th- that's very true but why uh, it's just the connection like father son Low, like uh, Carlos is uh, the son that's <laughs> trying <laughs> Carlos is just riding off of George Lopez's success or something. Carlos Lopez is a known joke thief. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Very true. George Lopez? Yo, so I actually wanted to talk about this with you all. I've, I've been thinking about it for, for a fucking minute, actually. Um, I feel like it's important. Someone needs to have the conversation. It's uh, Everyone's aware of it, but what the fuck happened to like sworn in, guys? Like, I'll tell you what happened. They were selling more Their merch live than a data at Warped Tour point. happened. Oh, that's very true. Were they really? Atrocious. They were crushing it for a grip. And then they put out um, that Make It Hurt song. Endless Grey was sick. And then they put out Make It yep. Hurt. And people were like, ah, I'm glad you guys are back. And then they played Warp Tour. Mm-hmm. And then everyone heard that song live. Oh, yeah. We all heard that song live. Who could forget? And if you haven't find a friend that has and just be like, hey, did you see Sworn In 
on the last year that they were on Warp Tour. And if they said yes, you'll just you'll see it. <laughs> I don't need to go further than that. It was bad. It was really bad. And I th- yeah. I genuinely think it's a big reason that Tyler quit. Not to like that doesn't put anything on the guy or anything. I just think it was a point where it was like fuck. Hmm. We I don't know like noticing that like this might be too heavy a blow. Yeah. And Tyler being the one that had the notoriety at that point. Yeah. Choosing to step away I think was a big move for. I think it was important for him because the band straight up died after that kind of yeah. like, I and mean, they're definitely still going, but not nearly to the modicum of what they were. And I think, yeah, I think a lot of that is, is the, the negative feedback that happened from the, the live warp tour run that they did of those songs that I don't yeah. even think they wanted to really make. Hmm. Cause it seemed like Tyler didn't even want to make that type of music anymore at that point. Yeah. He hit a point where uh, he was just like, I'm not really in this anymore. You know? mm-hmm. And, and he, that's why they tried introducing this singing a little more, but I think it just kind of came out. They don't have wonky. a, they don't have a full-time vocalist now, do they? I don't no, think I it think was the ever... old vocalist is the new guy. Really? Yeah. Oh, the first one. Oh my God. From they, what I remember that, you know, they are, they have taken so long to put a record out. Like, I mean, like I don't have really, they have did a lot the of remaster of the yeah, first gonna... album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, but like right, we've we been f- fucking working our ass off. No, no, we're different though. We're we're so much better. better. We know, we know, we know our like, situation, and I don't know theirs, so I can make bold accusations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm waking up every day, and instead of like just fucking hating my life, I'm just fucking doing the music. I guess make like. It hurt. Like and I guess by like saying hating my life, I mean like just eating like two bags of fucking XL chips or something like that. And Extra large chips. X, yeah, XL, XL boy. Yeah. XL boy. Yeah, I used to be an XL boy. It only has five chips, but they're, like, they're XL. They're though. fucking yeah. huge. But yeah, I don't know. There's a. Uh, there's some, I think there's something interesting with uh, this whole like sworn in just like completely just disappearing thing. Um, I think we solved it. Illuminati. In case closed. Think Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed solved 5G. Uh, okay, so to follow it up, I guess I should say, do you think they will ever have like a, have a strong <laughs> <laughs> return? Do you think? No. No? No. The, you think they're Unless and done? Tyler comes back now. Do you think he would? Do you think he'd yeah. ever like think about going back? Be- because like, I mean, no offense, I, I do follow mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. do follow him on, on he Twitter. He's pretty over it, honestly. Well, he, he just, like, <clears throat> seems like he just really doesn't have anything going on now. He still seems pretty sad and, like, miserable. Well, he's doing photography, right? I feel like he was, like, trying I to I think go that he that used more. to do that. What's uh, he doing now? I just, or, I, I, we probably shouldn't be, I don't think we're supposed to call him, say him, also, to be. Oh. Before. I think he transitioned. D- they, uh, okay. Should, they go by a, they. Then. Yeah. I'm okay. just gonna, yeah, just to establish. Okay. I, I'm gonna say Tyler for yeah. now. <laughs> well, all apologies if... Uh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, was not recepted, but like, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's crazy, because I, I just remember being such a hardcore, just a sworn in fan for the mm-hmm. longest time, you know? I remember like, uh, a boring ass show, like they were playing in Seattle with, um, just bands that didn't really make sense for them. Like they were like the heavy band. Oh yeah, no, oh, it was Escape the Fate. Thing they were doing. They were on tour oh, with that. Escape the Fate, and Escape oh, the Fate yeah. was headlining. And Sirens and Sailors. And yeah, yeah, there was that show. Sirens and Sailors, and then Sworn In, and like two or three other just like weird, you yeah, know. Like, that was the Escape the Fate, the one though, right? Because that a void open for that one. That's why we were there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Tyler took our promo photos. Yeah, there. that was oh, that yeah. one. That was, uh, I remember that was when he <laughs> yeah, joined. Dude, that was, I almost hit Tyler with yeah, my car because yeah. he wouldn't fucking move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember that. I was pulling in right next to you guys, and he this was like stanced up, <laughs> would not budge. He's like, I'm going to bump into your friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, can you tell them to fucking move? <laughs> and it was like, yeah. oh, it's Tyler Denon. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, you're still a person, but fuck, Sorry. <laughs> I remember that show, just everyone just not knowing what to fucking do once Sworn In. Uh, I forget what song it was. It was a super, it was one of their newer songs, super groovy. Um, not Sunshine. like groovy, like, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it had like a, a sick groove to it. And this, it, they just started out real, real fucking hard right out the get go. And they were good. This, this mix sounded good. They were like, uh, I was pretty impressed with it. I mean, they had some songs in that set I, I was pretty disappointed in, but this song was like, fuck, this is, this is fucking hard right now. And everyone is just standing still so confused. They're just like, yeah, this is pretty fucking heavy, but like. Suddenly, fat, 300-pound me comes fucking, fuck yeah, I'm going to fucking storm it. I'm Dad, I'm going to jump from the second <laughs> story balcony onto all those people. Yeah, I remember at that point, uh, Tyler being pretty over Blez in general. I don't yeah. think he did it. I don't think Tyler did a single mm. Blez. That show, <laughs> the big one in Snake Eyes even, he, uh, literally just put it to the crowd. 
It's like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you guys. Oh, are. really? Mm-hmm. It was a big, mm. like, all the music stops and there's a big bleh. Yeah, I remember like, punching no. some, like, really skinny tall guy, like, right in the fucking <laughs> donker. <laughs> he was like a doof. <laughs> like a good, a good Whoa, boom. the coffee. Good bulk. Oh, yeah. you spilling coffee now, Mr. Spilsey? Well, okay, it's a good thing I so I can don't have any more coffee. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, to be fair, who puts drinks under a chair? I do. Oh, it's, it's, it's fair, yeah. Hello? <laughs> The one time I should have done that joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Obby just pissed his pants. <laughs> oh my god, PC boy pants. Check it out, check it out. <clears throat> yeah, Jimmy. Uh, I don't want to disrupt the party or anything, but I fucking pissed myself, boy. <laughs> yeah, jeez. You guys even uh, yeah. are peeing you on my shelf. You guys have croissants uh, with uh, the, like, the owls or I've given up on croissants. And now Croissant. I'm into something healthy. Do you have any croissants? I'm just like a cheese lemon bar. Ah, it's girl. healthy. It's nutrition. Girl, stay after class. Yeah. Ah. All right, well, that Sorry, was fun. Yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> oh, check this one out. Okay. Rawr, rawr. Oh, yeah, that's pretty really good. Rawr, rawr. That yeah. good. Pretty I think you got Ruby almost beat on that. Yeah, I got to take him for inspiration, though. He's the one mm. that I heard him do it, and I, was, and I immediately was like, oh, I know how you did that. Like, mm. That's literally how I figured it out, and I heard it. I was like, I know exactly how you did that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Today, we're making curry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on the real though, I uh, I want to I want to get good at making curry. I feel like that's honestly a, though, that's a an impressive thing to be really good at. <laughs> I feel <laughs> that. I feel, yeah, I feel like it's cool to have like a thing with cooking. Like I'm the guy that makes this dish. Yeah, find it for you. Don't have it. You can't loot. You can't throw me away. I <laughs> you're going so in the garbage. Making curry. <laughs> you're you have, going in the garbage. You literally have no friends. You're not gonna have any totally curry ever again. Out of my house. You're going to go to the Asian restaurant and they're, they're just mm-hmm. not going to like you as much. They're going to make Why? just lesser curry for someone like you. But me, what? I would take care of you. He, Justin's looking right at me while doing this and I don't know what the bit is, but I'm a little worried that Sorry. I've upset him. Sorry, I've got, I've got some trauma I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's well, just the Remember role playing that is I helping. didn't impl- <laughs> in, inflict the trauma. Okay. Yeah. Justin, put the curry <laughs> down. Put the curry down. It's going to be fine. Oh, uh, man. Hot curry, though, just sound fucking great. Uh, Jason and I actually, we were talking about how fucking crazy it is. We didn't eat anything today. Not a single. Nothing. I just well, thought, hold on, real quick. I just thought a really funny joke when you were going <laughs> off about the curry. Why so curious? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know, let's, make that a, let's make that a shirt. I'm seven. By the way, <laughs> just turned. What if we had a side business and it was just selling a shirt that said that? I'm seven, by the <laughs> way. It's like, a, <laughs> no, it's like we're, we're posted up in a mall somewhere and we just have like a shirt station, oh, like a kiosk. <laughs> and we're just fucking printing out these shirts and selling it to fucking stupid ass dads. Just, just like, you know, them. your son wants this. Don't go to Spencer's. Your son <laughs> wants this. <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys ever like actually buy anything serious from Spencer's or like just yeah. anything? <laughs> I bought, anything dude, I've, I've bought a shameful amount of things from Spencer's TBH. Like what? Like, like the glassware, a lot of the like the cups in the oh yeah, oh. Shot that's very glasses true. and stuff. Yeah. I like get that. They for your always have for novelty, Christmas. like Invader Zim or yeah. uh, Night Before Christmas or Rick and Morty. I don't know. They've always everyone cool went in there for the plugs and things. just piercings mm-hmm. and shit, right? I, I tried to. They never had five eighths though. So when I was at mm. that was like when I was looking for piercing sizes and stuff, and they just never carried anything cool yeah. in that size. Uh, but I was there for the fucking dumb fuck shirt era. Oh yeah. <laughs> of the uh, what was it? I like sluts that party and yep. uh, oh. like acronym like just plain white t shirts with dumb neon fonts on them. You know, really <laughs> low effort designs, but, but they also sold like crazy. But also you could probably pick up a plain white tees band shirt from them too, which was kind of an interesting like dichotomy between like shirts. Did Spencer's was, was did you could buy a band teaser? Yeah, yeah. Did you could buy? I did. I <laughs> bought. Dude, <laughs> did I, you could do? So uh, pre uh, murderous wife attempt, uh, I bought a, a fucking uh, as they lay dying. It's like sick ass as they lay dying shirt. Uh, it had like a, the Grim Reaper on it, and like there's like some angel demons with skulls in the background. And I was like, damn, I'm, people are gonna know that I'm goth. They're just gonna know because <laughs> yeah. as they lay dying is a goth band for my simple stupid brain at the time. <laughs> Dude, it was really funny, um, and the world will never see it, so I want to say it. At the Ghost Inside California show, um, Tim Lambesis was there. Are you serious? And I, I had the 
the very humbling pleasure of being backstage for that show, and he was back there, and I got to meet him, and Ho- <laughs> Terry was like, yo, Hoda, get a get a video of, like, you know, anybody that looks, like, bigger, so, you know, just, like, look at all the people that are here to support the ghost inside, and <laughs> we started out the video with a close-up of me, just on my face, and I was like... Man, it'd be a real shame if somebody here happened to have tried to kill their all. <laughs> and, then and, then Tim, and then it's like pans out to Tim, like right as I say no. that. And obviously, oh, we, can, we never dude. can use it, but I was like, that man is huge, by the way. And I was like six feet in front of him, and it, it felt like I was making fun of a grizzly bear behind its back. <laughs> dude, it was just so fun. I'm, I'm just, I love you that type use of it for shit. yourself, just, like, man. Whispering jokes in situations you should not be trying to be funny in. Yeah, you should just use that yourself. That belongs on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Hodai was just like, dude, I saw Tim. I'm deleting this. Like, yeah. I don't want to want any ties yeah, to this. Like, Hodai is secretly really like tight with Tim. Like, <laughs> he told him. <laughs> he, he's been doing all the Azalea dying music videos recently. <laughs> that's, why I, they're, they're, that's why they're. That's why they're. I hope I don't now. have a hit out on me. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! Yeah, you better watch that fucking lit boy. Damn. Mm. Yo, so boys, uh, we got to talk about hundredth. Uh, what a fucking. To. We have to. No, I. Me and Jason were talking about them earlier. It's like such a. Like. Oh, it's so you cool that you guys shared that bond alone mm-hmm. together. Well, you were busy me. munching in the kitchen, getting your hand in the, the pickle I jar. I was making a joke because Jason and I actually made this bond oh. first, and oh. I was trying to call you out, but thanks for tattling on Yo, me, snack. Hey, <laughs> guess what, bitch? He's wearing my sweatshirt. Guess what? You're wearing yours. no shoes. Well, guess and what? And we're both wearing shoes. I would give You're homie, a shoe sandwich the shoes right now, off my feet if I had some. And you don't. But so I'm what are you going to give? Okay. <laughs> Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. Oh, uh, Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Cool Fairly Oh, dude, odd check parents. this out. This is crazy. Sure. Just because we're referencing Fairly Odd Parents, mm-hmm. this blew my mind. What? Okay, so this is hilarious. You know how the the neighbors are, you know, the Dinkelbergs? Yes. And they're they're married and they don't have any kids and that's like a big reason as to why they're such rivals to them is because oh. the parents have kids and they resent that and that's why they're so I hate the Dinko birds they're so free and they can do whatever they want and that's why they wow. have a ton of money and they can do all these crazy things that makes sense and Dink double income no kids whoa where, oh. did you, where did you hear this? Fucking Zesty told me this randomly. Zesty fucking would right. have I don't know info. why he knew that, but I was like, that is fucking cool. Like, what a Zesty, deep lore fuck, thing to yeah. never know. How the fuck are you You're finding this him? shit? Yeah. Zesty, how do you know that? <laughs> are you listening? Zesty. Comment below. He texts you right now. <laughs> if, no, straight up. If Zesty has the ability to find this information out. Probably just he's watched a, he's probably just listening to everything at all times. <laughs> so, That's the <laughs> only rational jump to this make, This makes for sense sure. why I, I, I feel, like, slightly uncomfortable when I try to go to bed with all these computers around yeah, It has me. nothing to do with the big spider that watches you sleep. No, he defends me. He keeps me safe. <laughs> the Actually, the saw, is not on your side, but the spider is. Uh, Got it. Jason and I saw a little guy, like a little baby, kind of crawl around. Same hobo? Well, not not the same spider, but it was a hobo. Um, but I, I do, I do got to say, I never got to really say uh, peace out to um, our boy Henry, but he truly will be missed. I hope uh I hope he's uh, up. I hope he's doing good. I know he's doing good. I know. I hope he's eating a whole bird right now. Yeah, uh you said yes, fake vegan. <laughs> Got, him. Got him everyone. <laughs> That's a wrap. Chris yeah. Hansen, get in here. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, I, I used to pull that give me your vegan card whenever someone would say something You're silly really like that. And they straight up would get so stressed out. They'd be like, no, 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 no. I, I really like to. Trust me, I'm the fucking <laughs> vegan. Like, that's what, working at a vegan cafe, that, <laughs> that's all That's all I have to say. And I feel that. Yeah, you get some crazy stories. <laughs> Everyone, that. Every like different walk of life of type of vegan. Dude, that's, yeah. that's the type of stories. That, like when I worked at a 7-Eleven, if you just let those people talk, like, and he, like homeless people, oh, were, yeah. like what, crazy people, just would, that would come in. Mm-hmm. If you just let them talk and just like, oh yeah, what about that? They would just go forever, and it would yeah. bring you endless hours of entertainment. Oh like, yeah, I love talking and not in, like a people, making man. fun of them. We're just like, let's let them talk. It's kind of entertaining. Just and they're and also I'm sure it's cold outside, so they could stay inside and just yeah. chat your ear off, and they would just go off. There was this one lady, dude. dude yeah, by the end stories. of me working at Seven Eleven, she would come in and I was her grandson. She would just tell me every time she saw me that I was her grandson and she had like 12 grandkids oh and I was God. one of them. And she was actually very wealthy, but mm-hmm. um, her husband 
that son of a bitch, when he died, he didn't sign the papers correctly. So the money's just in, in layover right now, and it, it hasn't gone into her account yet. But she's actually quite rich Whoa. and just waiting for her money to come in. She's, it's, it's a wild situation, but uh, that's my grandma. Mm. <laughs> so don't don't talk shit about her. <laughs> <laughs> please, yeah, please don't talk shit about uh, real, real quick, too. There was this one guy came in, and uh, <laughs> he grabbed the big sports size of the Gatorades, you know, like the like 32 ounces or yeah. however big, and just dumped it on his head. <laughs> just, just, in, the just, in the store? Just pour the whole thing. It was a long, much longer to yeah. drain than you'd probably anticipate because he didn't Damn. do the Bill Nye science twirl. Like he, he put like a little... <laughs> he just dumped it out like an idiot. Oh my and, God. Uh, <laughs> so happy that that landed. <laughs> <laughs> and it just took so long to drain onto his head. Jeez. And what was I going to do? Stop it? I was like, hey, yeah, you, don't I'm do this. Like, watch quit. <laughs> and he's like, no, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally would just um, watch him and just kind of like slightly <laughs> smile. Just, and he he sat there like, in the sticky filth. And, uh, and, and, and sticky I was like, why filth. would you do that? And he said, well, the demon told me I had to. <laughs> oh, no. and I was just That's like, when you run. <laughs> Honestly, bro, get the fuck out of there. Grab another one. Like, get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Demon told you to do that. Yeah, I'll fucking clean this shit up any day. Come, come back tomorrow yeah. and do this again. What because, if I get like, you three more and I you get out? You. Yeah, yeah. So and oh man, that wasn't dude. My coworkers. This I thought, This is before I worked there. Um, lady <laughs> came and said, "Can I use the bathroom?" And she said, "No, we're not. You know, we don't have a public bathroom. Sorry." Yeah. And she said, "Okay," and then she just like disappeared. And was like, "Okay, I guess she left." And just kept going about her day, and she went back into the back cooler. Lady pissed in the cooler. <laughs> what? Like so, like where, where you see all the cold what? drinks in Seven Elevens? No. You, she went back behind all those. Are you fucking serious? Pissed on the floor, Dude. and they had to throw out so much stuff because it obviously seeped onto the well, yeah, racks of things. The There's nothing on the floor. It's like they're set in racks, but just obviously for sanitation yeah. purposes. All the food had to yeah. toss. So there's no food back there. It's like a cooler with the, just the drinks. Um, oh, well, stuff. So the right man. side of the cooler is where the food is. It was the yeah. left with just the drinks. <laughs> like it, it's like a cubby hole that has no exit. She just went back there and was like. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna do it. She's pissed. She got away too. Like she did it stealthily. Snuck back there, pissed, and just dipped out. Oh my no, re- God. no, re- no repercussions. No repercuss piss cushions. No piss cushions. No piss cushions. Too good. Too good. Yo, we were trying to. I was trying to like talk oh, about, about hundreds. hundreds. So, <laughs> I was trying. I was talking Go about back piss to and the stuff. Piss. <laughs> yeah, dude. But sorry. Go. Yeah. Go about hundreds. My bad. Isn't that like, I feel like they don't get enough uh, admiration for the just hard, uh, just uh, solid genre transition change. they made? Yeah, they, they just fucking, like, me and Jason were just listening to them just a, just a little bit ago. And fuck, the, dude, their music, it's, it's fucking yeah. great. Their, their new shit. Like, and I think the weird thing about the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jason. I didn't, I didn't uh, bring this up. It was Jason who brought this up originally. No, that's not what he was getting at. He was uh, mocking me for you oh. guys sharing a bond together. Oh, yeah. The same My bond. sweatshirt. The same bond that we already shared. <laughs> Just know <laughs> that a- when you kiss him, yeah. I've already been there first. Jesus. This Ask is your a- girl what my dick tastes like, homie. This podcast... Uh- Fuck. This podcast is just going to be me and you like killing each other for Jason's life. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end in battle. I need you. <laughs> I'm nothing. I, I liked it that. I need him though. <laughs> but I need him. Jason's just like, Please. I don't even particularly <laughs> like either of you. But yeah, <laughs> fucking hundredth, just, like uh, in, in respect, uh, in respect to them and their, their change up. Like it's so crazy because they... They were kind of doing good as a hardcore band. I feel like they weren't doing insane numbers or anything, but I feel like their fan base was growing and growing. Everyone was like, dude, this new shit that they're putting out at the time is really fucking sick and heavy. And like, uh, it's just like a different type of like uh, metal. Melodic hardcore. Yeah, melodic hardcore that's just not really being done at this time. And then just out of nowhere, just like, fuck it. They they hopped on the the Don Bracco 1975 transition before anybody else, mm-hmm. and it was just too early. Yeah, because like, straight got, up, even the yeah. color, the pastels and stuff, the yeah. light colors, it, yeah. they straight up did it first, and it just didn't work because it wasn't it, nobody was ready for it. Like it's kind of really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. That Jason, they could have been a huge band probably. Justin, what's your favorite word? My favorite word. Uh, recently, one of them. Recently, it's been ephemeral because that's been that's like. A good word. I mean, all day. That's what me and Jason have been doing. 
uh, just yeah, Jason and I. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't want to say it. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not correcting my English. I'm just reaffirming that I was there and you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we just we're, we're hanging being, out. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were dissecting my lyrics without me. Yeah. <laughs> Having a great time. My song! <laughs> you, guys not just, you guys developed an inside joke using my fucking lyrics. I get it. It we was awesome. Up, there was a sick secret handshake that like, involved a sign language. <laughs> like using sign language. We without spelled me? out fuck Austin in sign language. You guys watch the Goonies? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? I haven't even uh, seen that yet. You know how stoked I was. But yeah, we, uh, my, so, my favorite word recently, ephemeral, <laughs> yeah. um, it's because it's one of the main words we're really kind of trying to go off of since uh, uh, like we we're, we're using Latin or something to kind of tra- <laughs> translate <laughs> we're using Latin or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck was it? Yeah. It, it's, just, Latin? It's, the, it's the chance we wanted a very ancient sounding chant uh, in the background of that tale because it, it's like a, it's like a nursery rhyme tale and that's very yield and the Latin makes sense in that respect to have the chanting be very, Ancient sounding, and yeah. and to achieve that, it's harder to just scream, you know, English lyrics in that sense because it's just mm-hmm. not as effective. It's more of like a crowd of people. But if it's in a different language, it feels a little more, I don't know, like otherworldly kind of. Yeah, and it, I love it. And mm-hmm. it's just yeah, the, what we're chanting is the word ephemeral, but it's just it's a four syllable word in Latin. Really tapping into that like evil shit, you know? Whoa, okay, well, he <laughs> he might be. The song's not evil. No, oh, sorry guys, yeah. <laughs> not Austin. But definitely me. Yeah. I am darkness. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just made everyone go outside, and I turned off all the lights, and I had a just a very dim candle going, and I brought out uh, the lesser key of Solomon, and I was trying to get Jason to fucking hail payment, but <sighs> it was too dark. Too, too dark. dark. <laughs> I couldn't read it. Have you seen <laughs> see him? Have you seen Hereditary, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it was great. How good, Love hereditary. How good though? It was so really good. good. What would you give Hereditary? He's <laughs> right. putting him on the spot. Like we've established, we both love this, and now he's like, "Come on, Jason." Answer. <laughs> yeah. How much do I really love you? <laughs> <laughs> how much of our hanging out really meant something to me? It's just such a good movie to delve I, into. Is the, is what he's getting behind? Yeah. Is that there's a lot. It's one of those movies that I, the rewards like research mm-hmm. outside of itself because he's yeah. so into the payment thing, and obviously uh, the whole movie is focused around the demon payment. I never. I didn't. I didn't do any homework after the movie. Oh, really? <laughs> right. No, yeah. I just Whoa. watched it and was like, that's just pretty good. Not everyone watches, enjoys watching movies like that. I know, I you know. know. It's, I'm it's something that I try, every time I argue with Tony about movies, is I'm like, dude, it's totally okay that we watch movies differently. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to fight about it. I just mm-hmm. want to tell you why I thought it was this way. Yeah. Because Tony that like likes movies to, you know, if you're going to do a movie, his viewpoint is if you're going to do a movie, you need to explain everything in your movie to me. Like it, when it ends... I should know what it was Wasn't versus, it? Me, I, I, versus me. I love you know, a movie. Huh? Sorry. I, what? I, that's ridiculous to me. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. But Can that's you a, imagine that I, being in any other art form? Like you in an I art know. gallery and being like, uh, explain it. <laughs> well, Jesus, dude, I, what, I don't football get it. and announce, yeah. sports and yeah. announcers. Like, yeah. This guy's doing this thing. This guy's doing this thing. He just did this. I know you're too dumb to follow. He just did this thing. He's over here. He's doing this. These points mean this. He's going this way. He did the thing. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah. Number 15 wins the race, yeah. everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's not for me in that sense, but I, I think it's why movies like, uh, not. I'm not saying John Wick's bad, but that type of movie blows up and does super well. Because sure. you can break down that movie and be like, this is stupid, but everyone will be like, <laughs> But the dog died and he killed him. <laughs> like, yeah, he, that, right, yeah. that is pretty cool. He <laughs> had a knife throw a guy and he died. You're like, yeah, that's sick for sure. <laughs> John Wick never lose. And you're like, okay, yeah, because the American spirit, like, <laughs> he's the all American badass, oh protect at all costs, you know. And it's like this, I don't know, this Avenger <laughs> style thing, but it's it's not necessarily my favorite. It's a type of, but I definitely get the appeal of wanting yeah. a story yeah. to be wrapped up yeah, and 100%. like this is the thing. It's it's all done, but like it comes at night. Like I watched that movie oh, with yeah. Tony, and he was like, as soon as it ended, he said that was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. How can you <laughs> even say that? And I was just so hurt by that. How like, can oh, you even man. say that? I, I got to watch Santa, uh, Satan's Little Help, Helper with Tony mm-hmm. and see see how Dude, he responds. Satan's Little Helper. Like, he he's probably like, loved I genuinely that. love funny that movie. movie. Like yeah, well, it's, it's a, a funny movie. It's a funny movie, but it's like you're you're only gonna watch it like I've seen it like maybe three, three or four times. Yeah, probably. nothing past that. It's right? So, it's so good. 
Oh, it's good, but I'd watch it multiple times. Really? Yeah, like right. every Halloween, you make it your Halloween I didn't tradition. Say that. <laughs> I said no. I said multiple, not forever. <laughs> it's a big joke. Like it's it's, so it's the current. only movie you would watch <laughs> yeah. on a desert island. I, that's what I'm okay, hearing. So you the say. limit's four or forever. So <laughs> <laughs> if it's five, you might as well watch it for eternity. <laughs> like it's a. It's a Christmas story around Christmas time. Like your whole family gets together. Dude, I got so it. sick of that. My family's more of the Rudolph one. It's on TBS, honey. Carve the turkey. <laughs> Cranberry you guys sauce. carve turkey on Christmas? Yeah, we're cooking turkey on Christmas because my That's dad's making me murder animals. We <laughs> 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 pump them in me spearheaded turkey. Mm. <laughs> Didn't really translate with my fucking fourth grade brain. Did you ever but... kill the turkeys or were you just around? Yeah, he made me kill multiple. Oh. We had What'd white, you use? We had white turkeys, dude. White turkeys. You know what happens when Why you, you act shoot like a that's more important wh- because because they, they stain. Yeah, it's just blood everywhere. I love you. Like relentlessly stare into my eyes, like I'm the tormentor. Why you would you? Me look at this. Why did you make my dad make me <laughs> shoot those turkeys, well, Austin? See, Justin, I come from a timeline where time travel exists, and I want nothing more than to make you suffer. Yeah, the point is, I made your dad <laughs> pull out the geese. The point is, everyone. Don't fucking ever make your dad make you kill fucking animals. <laughs> Don't make your dad make you kill animals. I hope this dad. was a... <laughs> You're going to make me kill animals. <laughs> I hope this was a really enlightening podcast for y'all because uh, it is for Don't me Don't kill now. geese. Only if no. your dad's forcing you. Not with Don't the... Don't kill him. <laughs> you can't kill the monthly duck. He's like, <laughs> what? Wait, what the fuck's a monthly, monthly duck? A yeah, monthly is there duck? actually a duck? Yeah, is that like yeah, a monthly <laughs> duck? What the fuck's a monthly duck? <laughs> you see a duck like once a month, right? <laughs> okay, so it's a real duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, uh, you, know the, you know the cosmic duck that appears in my dreams? You guys see him, right? You mean you guys don't see Are him? Are you guys telling me you don't worship the almighty, <laughs> almighty quackers? It's a su- supreme breadcrumb oh. king. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, you have to watch like uh, the Mighty Ducks like once a month. <laughs> that's this, that's this nightmare. Like, you're just watching. <laughs> it's the Passion of the Christ. Is <laughs> <laughs> the Passion of the Christ. See how hard these ducks fought for this victory, <laughs> Jason. Uh, we're so. Do you think that uh, Darkwing Duck is like? Is he Lucifer in this scenario? Yeah, definitely. He's the Dark Lord, the Dark Lord of all ducks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would not fuck with Darkwing, the Duckling, Darkling. Dude, he was a fucking G. He could have took out um. What was that other crazy, wacky uh, '90s cartoon character, Bonkers? Remember Bonkers? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Bonkers? <laughs> you don't remember? Do you remember Bonkers? No. You barely remember Bonkers. <laughs> no, like, I oh, could who never. Was his name? What was his name? Oh, Bonkers. Don't you, <laughs> you don't know Bonkers? <laughs> don't you dare accuse me of not knowing who Bonkers I did, is. You, I'm just saying it was funny that you <laughs> couldn't remember, and then we're like, you guys don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hey, to be fair, I've been smoking weed all fucking day. I'm like a little fucking buzz too. Hey man, you ain't gotta defend yourself right now. I was just making a joke. Oh, drink your beer, pussy. Damn. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, pass me that hatchet. I was, honestly, I was honestly about to grab it for some reason. That's so funny that you said. That. Did our brains just link up again? Yeah, I think I random. saw you like look at it. And I was like, he wants this. <laughs> yeah, you want to pass that real quick? You're gonna hit this hatchet. No, I just want to fucking <laughs> gash your leg in real quick. Come on. Go. You think I fucking won't? Come on, sever my ephemeral artery. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> This hatchet is the perfect size for that fucking calf right now. Take the cuphead tattoo off Dude, my Dude, you've leg. got some... So, I don't think people are giving you enough, like, credit, but you've got some pretty muscular calves, homie. Dude, thanks, dog. Dude, flex it for me real quick. I've been, car- I've been carrying Turn around a lot over. of weight my whole life. I got a thick leg. Dude. I don't know. I mean, it's not, like, thick, like, big. I'm just saying, like... It's not, like... It's, it's not only... It, it looks fucking... It's just a thick leg, dude. <laughs> like, I would not want to get kicked by you. Like, that's That's fair. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I've always known you've got, like, these insane kicks. I see you doing them, and I'm kind of, like, low-key, like, turning my head in shame, saying, like, to myself, like, <laughs> I'm kind of fucking jealous, dude. Like, dude, I wish you could, sh- like, share some of that wisdom with me. I will. I have a punching bag. You want to... I'll show you. Oh, that's yours? I thought that was Jared's. That's mine. Oh, damn. I brought that with me. Oh, we got to fucking hook that up. Isn't that in here right now with us? I think it's out there, but yeah. Hook it up. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> That shit shakes that We house. go live at a uh, fucking... We can probably put it out in the barn. We'll go live at 2 a.m. tonight, everyone. We can do it live. We can go <laughs> live on 2 a.m., bro. Um, imagine that live stream. You're just scrolling through Facebook. Like, it's just like... Two you're, dudes you're, beating up a punching bag. You, you're just scrolling right right past, like, your great aunt's, like, just weird picture of, like, her flower garden. It's just the next my, video. My great yeah, aunt. Oh, no. My, everyone in my family is, like, hitting me up. They're like, hey, I have Facebook, too. Do you want to see my opinions? Yeah, dude, I don't know. My messages are... 
stressful. But um, like the the live video them. is just like some fucking dude in his gym at four a.m. just like <laughs> fucking kicking the bag. We're like I'm getting this shit. I'm fucking pumped. It was on Facebook Live to like just, one other dude that didn't, yeah. <laughs> that didn't mean to click there and his screen lagged out I, and he's stuck. <laughs> I only drink NOS energy drink, not the sugar free, because that's for pussies. I burned so much calories. I watched <laughs> all of the Fast and Furious and I fucking love NOS. I 100% have met like hardcore Fast and Furious stands and it's terrifying. They're, they're talking about how stoked they are for the 10th installment where they are no longer just cool car guys. They're just like CIA a- agents to like, <laughs> did you see the seventh one? How when can you watch the, anything the, past uh, the third one? I think in the latter half of the, the, the film, the, um, the lead protagonist ends up being an alien. An a- are you <laughs> no <laughs> way. Dude, no that way. That makes I'm me joking. think of, yeah, yeah, okay. I just, Thank God. I wanted to commit really that's hard. That's like some that. Indiana Jones, uh, oh, crystal, crystal skull, skull shit. Skull. Thou shall not that's be like, named. Like, <laughs> Shia like, LaBeouf. Yeah, Jesus respect Christ. to Shia LaBeouf. Honestly. Why was he in that though? He was like, good because he was a young actor trying to do. He was in, uh, the chance to be in Indiana Jones. He didn't know that movie was gonna be ass. That's so yeah. true. Just like you, hey Shia, you want to be in Indiana Jones? <laughs> oh boy, do I! Steven Spielberg comes like comes up to his house, knocks on his door, instantly starts giving him a shoulder rub. Like Shia, this could be really, <laughs> this could be really big for your career. He goes, hey Shia, I saw you in Evil <laughs> Stevens, and I saw you do great in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how he. That's how Steven sounds. I want, I want you to hurt him. I want you to hurt him, Shy. Oh my god! <laughs> he had to fight like the other contestants to get oh my god. other audition kids. I want you to spit in Harrison's fort. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think <laughs> spit in Harrison's Ford? Do you think Harrison Ford strictly drives Ford trucks? Hi, my name's Harrison Ford F one fifty. How are you? Oh my god, that is hilarious! He's got like a card and everything, and his like his his personal car does the Ford logo on it. They call me Ford Solo. He's got one tattoo on his fucking ass, and it's the, it's Ford, the Ford logo. logo. <laughs> Oh Man, God. if I could be an Air Force One, I sure as hell can get a one. fucking Ford tattoo on my ass. Oh, that's so funny. Harrison's Ford. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like just fucking Steven just Spielberg, right just like <laughs> Steven Spielberg, just going like, Shia, Shia. <laughs> I want you to kill him. <laughs> Not too bad, though. Don't make it look like it was intentional. I just want you to hurt him. <laughs> Oh my god! I Fuck. really, I really like to imagine. I this. love this fantasy. <laughs> Spielberg is just this fucking tiny voice <laughs> maniac. And this is why we need uh, those Mega virtual. Maniac. We need those virtual reality like uh, sensory deprivation tanks for this, like right. just to see what that universe would look like. Harrison, I want you to climb inside the fridge. <laughs> inside the climb right inside the refrigerator. And we're gonna throw you through the sky. <laughs> You'll be fine. Your bones will make it. <laughs> who wants? Who wants the hatchet? We've, we've applied a grease to your bones so that they'll be malleable. <laughs> Careful now, it's sharp. <laughs> Just like me. Just Sh- like the way I cut my cigars. Shy, I want you to get in the snake pit, Shy. <laughs> Can okay. So do we trust people that smoke cigars, or do we just? It depends n- on what context. Not trust that motherfucker at all. It depends. Mm-hmm. If they have an Italian accent, I don't trust. Them. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. If they, with a cigar, because I know they're in the mob. It's just, it's just a definitive it's a mob fact. Thing, yeah. Hey, sorry, I can't hang out with you. Your mouth? I feel like I you bet might. you make good pasta, but I <laughs> sorry, I ain't trying to swim with no fishies. Italian, and you don't like spaghetti? What the heck, <laughs> spaghetti? I, you have to like that, right? It's pronounced paschetti. Dumbass. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is uh, pretty awkward now. Yeah, I really wish you hadn't said that. I I only eat spaghettios. Oh, he hard ass it again. Mm. What? Paschetti. Dog. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, it's p- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if fucking um, what if Joey Diaz no, was president? I tell you what, a lot more shit would be getting done in this goddamn country. Joe, I want you to eat the coke booger out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to dip the coke booger and eat some fucking blue cheese, Joe Rogan. I want you to do that and then I'm going to fuck your mother. You got to get all this nose hair out of my nose. I have too much hair in my fucking nose. Joe, Joe Rogan. It's a goddamn fucking forest in here. Oh, I haven't took it a hard, clean breath in eight years, Joe. It's all asthma. Yeah, I take extents. What's of it? 
<laughs> I take extensions in a drink. Then no, that's like a boner pill, like a, a gas station. Extensive? Boner pill. Oh, I was extensive. thinking of Zions. <laughs> Zions. <laughs> that UFC drink. Oh, that's a. Oh. Extends. This isn't that like that late night infomercial shit. Mm. Like that blue pill. Like late. It's like two a.m. and like, who was that for? Who's up at two a.m. and is like I could really use a boner pill. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I um. There was a point in my in my youth that I actually was like, okay, you know, I probably have a small dick or something. I I'm just gonna buy one of these extends pills. I and probably. Have. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna use it and mm-hmm. I'm gonna see how I feel about it. And I you know I tell you what the placebo effect was fucking. My great. confidence was out of this world. I, I really. Feel Felt like I was just like down, down to fuck. I was like, you know, I took that extents, that fucking well, that extents that I stole, yeah. and I fucking yeah, this is fun. Give you that confidence to fuck. Yeah, I was like, uh, I was doing pretty hot. I was like, you guys you know, ever have moon shoes? Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> I did. Oh man, they were kind of fucking pussy ones though. Dude, I, I wish I had moon shoes. They weren't good. They weren't like the spring on the bottom it was like rubber bands around just ankle breaker plastic gross mm. yeah it fucking broke my ankle i think almost <laughs> on that thing damn awful i was more of a stilts kid myself yo i fucked with stilts Stilts. i was a pogo master dude yo I, yeah you I, strike I, me as a pogo stick dude i'm pretty bitch. confident i broke the world record for longest pogo and get the fuck i pogoed for like i swear like nine hours straight one day <laughs> just what? outside i just skipped <clears throat> I skipped dinner and every sorry. I got, <laughs> we're gonna choke up. No, there's a fucking spider just crawling <laughs> in his deal. mouth, guys. Sorry. There's so really many so spiders many in this room. <laughs> no, it started raining. I was like, I'm not no dinner, thanks. Like, I'm 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 really committed. I balanced for fucking <laughs> hours. I don't know why, but I was just count. I don't remember. I don't even remember how much I did. I really should have paid attention more to that. But man, that was a nutty. Day. I literally spent an entire afternoon just pogo sticking and just. Dude, see how long I, can I fuck with it, man. There were kids that just I spent just all day on the trampoline. There were kids that spent all day skateboarding, <laughs> and there were fucking kids like Ruby kids who fucking bounced. unicycled all day. Like, what yeah. a weird fucking thing to do, Ruby. Res- Dude, I always respected the unicycle kid. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, but Ruby was doing it because he knew he could get mad pussy someday from it. What? Yeah. Ow. Who the fuck ever was like the unicycle guy? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Dude, well, he Wild played tire? fucking bass guitar too, man. So he was, you know. Yeah, that's even that's he the was worst a bit one in the stereotype. You mean to tell me that? Yes, I do. You have not seen pictures of Ryan Stop. on YouTube. That's not what I said. <laughs> everyone, I please. Said that the bass player is notoriously everyone, the meme. I would of just the least fucked member. I would like to encourage every single person that's listening to this right now. If you're just give me your fullest attention for one second, your fullest please attention. go to YouTube right now and type in pictures of Ryan. <laughs> it's R Y N E pictures of R Y N E. And just watch that video. It's our bass player. It's please. a bunch of MySpace pictures. Please tweet it. cringy and he hates that it exists. Let him know how much, how cute if you think If the internet he is. knows you hate something, it'll do well. Yeah, it'll blow up. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan's. Gonna Do you think he'll famous. ever get over it? Do you ever think Ryan? I will... think deep down he's pissed for sure. Every think... time we make a joke about it, he goes, "Well, it's I don't say I don't really make a joke about it anymore because I've just it's you been bring my life. You it up as a joke. Well, yeah, but I just I want other people to experience that first I mean, time joy. You know, like oh, kids used to look that. like this. I mean, I'm just as guilty. I had a fucking I wanted to look like Matt Tuck from Bull from Valentine. To tell you the truth, I was like, damn, I need this skunk stripe in my hair. Skunk stripe. <laughs> Nice. Dude, and you know what? I did it. And my mom cried. My mom fucking cried. What an idiot. Because she was so happy. <laughs> no, she, she was just, so I, you know. <laughs> my son's a little skunk. <laughs> my son's like a rock skunk. star. Little stinky boy, I love you. <laughs> what, what was your favorite thing about, uh, the favorite thing that we tracked today, Jason? Oh, uh, my favorite part was when we stopped. When we stopped, oh, he hated I, your bonding together. I fucking suck. <laughs> hey, remember when you guys wa- uh, did the hundred thing together? He hated it. Oh, oh, wait, Damn. no, laugh, please. I was wait. really like connecting. Oh, fuck, mm-hmm. fuck, I've ruined mm-hmm. their friendship out loud. It's over. You know, I, I bet you. you guys are wondering how I got here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. You know, we just uh, we never really drank water today, and I was That's like, you know, I you need. Was. You know, I, I need to make sure that you got some water. So I went to the kitchen, you know, yeah. and I got you a glass. Because, like, I mean, like, I got myself a glass. But, like, you know, I was thinking of you the whole time. And, like, I thought that was a pretty nice gesture. Since, you know, on an account that we're, like, pretty good friends. <laughs> some might even yeah, say, dude, he brought you water, dog. What do you, like, what's your rebuttal? Some might even say, what's like, your we're dude? closer than, you know, you and Obby or something. 
I made him dinner. Eat, yeah. You made him dinner? Yeah. Twice. I made him a fucking salad, dude. You know how important that is. Dinner. To me. Was he a goat? Avocado, dude, right? that's a fucking dinner to me. Oh, I made him. I put grass oh, in my, a bowl. Oh my god, guys! I forgot. I have a fucking avocado. That's probably prime time ripe right now in the kitchen. Oh my god! That's Go get big, it, eat I, it. I can't do that right now. Steal the flesh from the avocado. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, daddy's working. <laughs> Remove the pit and eat the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Take the steps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's good? What what, what we've been listening to all week, boys? That's my toe tapping the floor. <laughs> Your toe made of metal? Well, listen to this shit. Well, coming down to Georgia, gonna get baptized, gonna praise Jesus in the presence of the Lord. To most people, they might think that that is just like my toenail hitting the floor because I'm not cutting my toenails, but, but it's fact, a, there's actually a bottle cap underneath my toe and I'm really good at grabbing things oh, with my toes. Wow. So it's, my, it's one of my secret powers, actually. It's actually Alan Watts, everybody. Give it up. <laughs> hey, I'll be here in another lifetime. In a reincarnated body. Time is a flat circle. Uh, oh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, what have we been listening to, boys? What's uh, what's good this week? Uh, I was on a throwback kick recently, and I throwback. went back and listened to Teenage Dirtbag, Stacy's oh. Mom. Oh, nice. um, like uh, Bowling for Soup? No, I don't think any of those bands. Bowling for Soup did Stacy's Mom. No, that was no. the Wayne. Founds of Wayne. Yeah, it's some what? weird band name. It's yeah. definitely not Bully you, for Soup. You're serious? Bully yeah, for Soup might have done a cover of it. But oh my god, you're right. That song. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I. You're right. I can't I'm remember wrong. half the bands because that that was like the situation for like all the classic songs I was listening to were all by like a band I'd never heard of, and that was their song. But that train, dude, that teenage dirt that bag song though, that shit slaps. What? I'm just a teenage dirt bag baby. Uh, fuck. Ooh, ooh. Throwbacks, yeah. Yeah, I've been throwback in it. Also, Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Super in him. I put, I put that on. I, I still have yet to times. listen to him. He's great. He's great? Really? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what kind of genre? You were telling uh, me about like R&B R&B rap. R&B rap. Real, really flowy rap. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a real crisp, crisp, crisp voice. Hmm. <laughs> what, what about you, Jason? Jason. What, what are you listening to on your drives here? Oh. Jason. Um, also, Distant, dude, that band Distant is yeah. fucking sick. I tried listening to them in my car, and it just, my subwoofer just did not want to work with that band for yeah. some reason. Fat bass, everyone. Fat bass in my fucking smart car. You know it's fucking loud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Shit's mm-hmm. bopping, mm-hmm. always. Boppy, boppy. <laughs> People try to talk to me. I say, shut the fuck up. I'm listening. I'm trying to, to decide fucking for Aaron base Carter tonalities. right now. <laughs> it's fucking Aaron's party up in this bitch. You know, <laughs> you know we're fucking bumping. What What did you guys think about like that time period where Aaron Carter was playing with like he would he would tour? He was uh, like and he was he low was playing budget with bands like MGK. Truth like, Under Attack <laughs> played with Aaron Carter. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I like El Corazon. Oh Whoa, my god! When did that happen? Did it that was, really happen? A, yeah. Oh my what god! Era I remember he when he point? played. It wasn't his weird rapper phase yet. This right? is when he started getting so. neck tattoos. It was stuff. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Truth under attack. Why aren't they a local band? Yeah, yeah. they were kind of doing good for a second. No, no, no. It, they opened up for him. But oh, he was gotcha, playing gotcha. like like metal shows, right? yeah. or alternative shows rather. Yeah. Interesting. I had no idea about that era. That's very odd. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That was weird. I forgot about <laughs> yeah. Truth Under Attack. That's like that Drake Bell crossover crowd. I feel like. Oh, Bell. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's a good point. Did you know this is weird? Uh, of lately, jo- uh, Josh Bell, <laughs> Drake Bell, I'm a traitor, uh, <laughs> is blowing up in Mexico. Are you serious? Drake like, Bell is very successful in the uh, Hispanic audience. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's he started actually doing like a couple songs in Spanish too. Even like he has like a Muy Caliente song and some shit. Wow. Hmm. And it's dude pulling numbers like he was not he was pretty stale for a little bit and then he just was like well i guess i have a huge spanish audience let's wow to get in this and he's just been making like summertime salsa man <laughs> jams and it's been, wow that's really interesting <laughs> it's been, yeah it's just an interesting it's, change um, you know it's always yeah. been really interesting uh to me when you see an artist find like, their when, niche well when you when you know they're not doing as hot in your market but mm-hmm. in like other parts of the world like uh, japan it. or russia uh, even Australia is a crazy weird market. Oh, yeah, I think Americans we were talking about Australian bands. Yeah, just uh, being yeah. really successful there, but living in a different state or something. Well, different, I guess, country. Um, it's always been really fascinating to me Pain to see how that just kind of works out. Like mm-hmm. uh, cultures wanting to take on 
uh, foreign cultures just for the sake of not being the same as everyone else in their society. Okay. Okay. Am I alone with that thought? Is that like an interesting thing? I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was like Jason up the floor. She pointed me off. <laughs> like, no, don't look at me. Look at Jason. He knows the answer. <clears throat> Trying to give Jason the floor. I was trying to be courteous. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fuck. Yeah, yeah, Who yeah. are you listening to? You right now. You're talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so you, sweet. Did you oh, that's so, so sweet. So sweet. Of me. Oh, Let me God. touch your leg. Well, he said Jack Harlow a little bit. <laughs> oh, and Drake yeah. Bell. Little Drake Bell. <laughs> Drake Bell and Aaron Carter. We were kind of, yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. The Spanish yeah. Drake Bell. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's about time I check my shit. Uh, I was showing him, got homie uh, Faye Webster. She's got some fucking. Such a pretty voice. She got some sick ass, like soft, like uh, almost jazzy. Just jazz. I don't know. She's just got this really calming, like uh, cool, like acoustic indie, mm-hmm. cutesy voice. Super cool. Really, uh, really been into her shit uh, okay. recently. Okay. Um, okay. I, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling a little uh, Coco, you know, I, uh, I've been bumping Freddie Dread a lot recently, just because uh, he's got the. He's just great. Damn, son. When you find, I mean, he's not the best lyricist, obviously, but uh, yeah, but his, he bops, dude. I mean, every other word is just bitch or something like right. that. But he's he's got the weird How? like minor, like very, or no, it's very like major, like poppy kind of like upbeat dark I just, rap. Uh, it's really weird. Yeah, I really like how his music's mixed too. Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff on his uh, vocal main, yeah, and uh, just the the music in the background. The samples so and shit. There's a lot of cool. Yeah, it's just a lot it's of cool production horror. going on. It's like an '80s horror movie, mm-hmm. or it's like a Spanish guitar going. Take, off, yeah, it know? takes like a '50s uh, like radio sample and mm-hmm. then puts some <laughs> a John Carpenter filter on it. Yeah. You know who's been just fucking grinding recently? Um, fucking Gizmo. Gizmo has been grinding oh, yeah. hard. He's man. always been grinding the past like two years. I'm I'm just blown away at how much he's putting out right now, though. Mm. Homie is just every single day just doing his best. Yeah, he's put out like three albums in the past yeah. like year. Yeah, I think Jeez. it's just a matter of time before he, he puts out another single that's just, you know, game changing for him. He just needs that one that gets picked up by World Star and then people will be like, Oh shit, who's this guy? Yeah. Oh, oh, who's this guy? Dude, uh <laughs> I've been back on uh, I've been back on that uh, Landon Tours grind too. Uh his solo shit is so great, man. Landon Tours. <laughs> I uh his uh with, his withdrawals uh record. Dude, that man, album is actually so great. Good. Yeah. I you know everything I, he does is I'm, I'm not even uh, like afraid to like admit that I've cried multiple times just listening to that record. Dude, dude, even his voice could just induce the tears, man. Yeah. He's just got that pain down. Dude, I fucking love it. Yeah. He's uh his music's been really important to me recently. Hell like, yeah, bitch. Uh, Really oh, kind yeah. of like got me through some hard times. Fuck yeah, dude. Listen, you hear that, boys and gals? Check that shit out if you're going through a heartache. Yeah, 100%. Jason and I were just talking about how crazy the virus shit's getting. And it's like, you know, yeah, like fucking who does know like what, where this shit's going to go? <laughs> this might just be a fucking crazy thing that never gets better. Fair, but at least we weren't um, in Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Yeah, Could be worse. True. <laughs> are, we, are we bringing up existential dread of no, fucking nuclear warheads right now? Because like I went through that like not too long ago, and you know, a black hole could open up at any moment. Why f- dread about it? Q black at hole. At any sun. moment, life could be destroyed. So why spend your whole life being yeah. terrified of that? Absolutely, I, I totally agree. It's just sometimes uh, the Lion brain. King one hundred and one, dog. I think. <laughs> I think the brain Pop. just be slipping up though. Sometimes you know you just want to like that, think about that stuff really hard. Yeah, but. and that, and that's totally fine to do it. But mm-hmm. then you got to ground yourself afterwards. Yeah, it's about the importance of like coming down from those intense thoughts instead I, of just letting them linger and being like, I'm in, I'm fucking terrified now. I think that's something through our friendship that I've really like gathered, like mm-hmm. really like pulled away is. Uh, uh, I've Coming always from a wander. I've always been very just self-deprecating, and then mm-hmm. I meet someone like you who's like been experiencing this shit for much longer than me. Mm-hmm. Uh, much more like, um, uh, I guess like uh, not not skilled, but like um, I have a specific conditioned. Set of skills. You've you've been dealing with this for much longer than me, mm-hmm. and I I see someone like you talk about this stuff, and uh, you've got a much like clearer. A positive takeaway from the whole mm-hmm. dread of this scenario, right? And it, it, it's it's like when you watch a workout video or something, or just a video that gets you pumped up on life, and mm-hmm. you're just like, you know, yeah, today is the day that I just fucking put all that stuff behind me and I just work on being the best person I can, right? And you feel good about it, and because of that, you're making every person in your life feel good, or, or like there's like this weird charisma about you. People see that. 
you're, you know, you're taking the weight vest off or something mm-hmm. in this, like as an analogy. Right. And um, you're just living your best life. And because of that, they're, you know, now influenced. Right. And it's just like a chain. Oh, of, yeah. it's, you know? it's that whole like love it, let it go thing. <clears throat> yeah. Once you stop trying to force it, people can see the, it like starts to draw in that healthiness, you know, like yeah. misery loves its company. But if you pull away from that misery, there's like that attractiveness to somebody who's confident and happy. You want to be like, well, what the fuck? What's that yeah. about? I want to, want a little taste of that. What's going on over there? Yeah. You can be happy. That's allowed. Yeah. It's wild, man. It, I, it's wild, man. <laughs> wild man. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, uh, it is crazy though, how people just want to keep you there. I feel like sometimes that with the whole misery loves company. Mm-hmm. I just, it, it's so hard sometimes yeah. to think that people well, are selfish in, yeah. in that sense. It's ingrained in us, man. Like the, mm-hmm. think about all the, Every single family gathering of just, yeah, my girlfriend, are you married? You got kids? You think yeah. your job's here? It's fucking, beep, 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 beep. I'm fucking so miserable. <laughs> For real. Yeah. <laughs> this constant perpetuation of just do the same shit over and over again, mm-hmm. you know, that you just don't have time. Nobody's ever there to tell you about that other shit of just like what to do with those feelings or those emotions. So you yeah. just mm-hmm. get focused on dumb stuff. And then uh, on top of the misery thing you're saying, like you have people that, may have made things that they're regrettable about, like having kids at a young age or getting married too early. So instead of being self-aware of that and reflecting and being like, oh, maybe I messed up in that facet of my life, but but if I acknowledge it, I can grow and learn from this and still be end up being happy. But instead they double down and go, no, 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 I made the right decision. And if anyone else doesn't make this decision, they're wrong and they're doing it wrong. Yeah. And that's where that whole idea yeah. of, telling your kids that like they have to follow this plan that you followed because if they don't then that means you messed up is kind of how it looks or like people our age even when they you know i feel like you see that a lot when they're like oh you what you'll understand when you have kids like when you have kids and it's like i get it you're fucking really trying to make me feel like you made the right choice here it's fine that you have that kid but acknowledge that you're a little unhappy about it otherwise you're gonna have this secret resentment to your kid that you're not even aware of it's gonna just come out to them like kids pick up on that shit when like you hear your parents fighting and they're like, well, if you didn't fucking knock me up, da, da, da. and then your kids, it's like, oh, this is my fault. Fucking hell yeah. And then they build that up their whole lives and take it into their relationships. And guess what? You've just created a cycle of pain. <laughs> and you think you're pain, doing yeah. a good thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's that bummer type beat shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my favorite thing about you. Like, uh, we'll just be talking about one thing, but then we just trail down this whole, like... <sighs> You, you, you've got this beautiful scenario like uh, built up of like just childhood and, mm-hmm. yeah dude yeah, I, I've yeah. spent so much of my time not building my career and instead focusing on myself as a person yeah. and now I'm like focusing on dude, my career dude I see it I will, I will never forget the days where you were just fucking grinding like uh, you know I, I specifically remember a long time ago like talking when I was living with Ruby about like how I think working at Seven Eleven is probably got to be one of the hardest jobs to ever like actually have to work. That shit sucks. And then like a week later, I found out that you just started there, mm-hmm. and I was like, dude, my heart was like almost broken. I was just like, Jesus Christ, like sucked so bad. I was making <laughs> absolutely no money. That was awful. Yeah, dude. And then the, the the fucking day that just like I just remember it was so fucking beautiful, man. Like the day that you were self sufficient Mm -hmm. from YouTube, I was just like, God damn, like homie is doing what he fucking wants. Everyone at my job was not happy (laughs) that I I told him to loves company. I I made this like right exactly boom, bringing it back around. Is that I had made this announcement because like Jerry and I had had the discussion about you know. He was going to let me take over 100% of the royalties instead of this because we were doing a split before and I was yeah. making like $300 a month. It was just like absolutely nothing. Uh, so he, we established that once we hit 100K that I would take over 100% of like the responsibilities and the royalties. And I told everyone at my work that and like just they all took it as like, OK, 100K, sure, buddy. And then yeah. like a month later, I was like, hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. I hit 100K and they were like oh, really? You're actually pursuing that? Like, I thought you were kidding. Like, you're really going to go do that? Oh, my God. I was like, fucking peace out, bitches. Dude, yeah, for real. Fuck that shit. Yeah, dude, I, on it, oh, I don't talk to... Man, definitely I, a hard job to I do. I don't talk uh, about what I fucking do outside of work. Uh, if they ask what I'm doing mm-hmm. that day, I'll be like, I'm doing this thing with my band. But, like, so I weird. just, like, yeah. I know y'all ain't going to be interested the way that like this is like super important to me mm-hmm. so I'm, gonna I'm just going to say yeah, I'm not yeah. going to waste your time I'm just going to say if you want to like try and seem cool to me to, and with talking about like 
like I guess probably you'd bring up like Knock Loose or something. Be like, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, Slipknot. You ever listen to Slipknot? Right. Like, dude, pretty, I, I, I listen to everything, dude. At this point, <laughs> I'm so good with just being like, hey, man. Go be honest. I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta yeah. give you. I'm. Yeah. I'm about to not be disingenuous to you. And I'm getting I, to I that I point, man. Apologize if this sounds rude, but. I don't give a fuck about that thing you're talking about right now. Yeah. Um, I would love to, to be involved in your conversation, but that doesn't sound... What are we talking about? The weather? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I don't care. It's the weather every day. <laughs> every day. Every fucking day. It's sunny. Or raining. Or it's somewhere in between. That's fucking weather. fascinating. You've God, got, uh, tell me more. It's sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. I love that show. Great show. Um, you ever seen that show, Jason? Yeah. Such a funny show. Uh, have, it's one of the later seasons, like season 11 or something, when Mac and Dennis have like a bet with Frank that they can live together in a suburban house for like a, a month. And if they do, he'll pay their rent for the whole year. And it's a really funny episode about how they actually don't have a tolerance for each other and that they've been, you know, distracted by the being gone and drunk at the bar all day that they actually don't <laughs> enjoy each other's company at all but it ends up being this like allegory on staying in a marriage that you hate like for somebody oh, you know yeah. like using the frank bet as like an analogy for kids you know and then staying together as like mac being the stay-at-home mom that is resenting the husband for getting to go out and do things that you know, she's perceiving as fun you know like he gets to leave the house and do all these fun things and then he's resenting him because he gets to stay home all day which is his in his mind the relaxation place yeah. so it's like this grass is always greener thing of that's what happens when you don't speak at all is that you <laughs> or communicate with your significant other is these types of intense parallels can build up and you start hating the other person resenting them and then there's like this little click that's been going off since they moved there and Mac has been trying to get Dennis to fix it the whole time they've been there. And he just as it keeps ignoring him and like gaslighting him about it. And it's just like, I don't even, what are you even talking about? And then at the very end of the episode, when they have like this big fight and he's like, Oh yeah, I've heard the noise the whole fucking time. <laughs> and he's like, what? Yeah, that's right. I fucking knew. I knew it was there, but I hate you. <laughs> and he's just like, I put up with it because I knew it pissed you off. Just that type of like, I've seen, I should have watched my parents do type that type of shit of like real petty. Just like, oh, I can't wait to fucking get this person back. I'm like, isn't that your husband? Like, yeah, it's crazy. Dude. Like, but it was so normal to them of just, and like even cartoons, I remember growing up, that was such a popular thing of just like, oh, you fuck my wife, you know? I sure do hate my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was such a popular trope. And like the asshole husband that just hates his wife and the wife just unrelentingly being like, mm-hmm, smile through the bruises. That really <laughs> submissive Smile through the attitude. bruises, sweetie. Yeah, it's. It's awful, dude. I love Lucy. That or that. Uh, what was that? Honeymooners, bro. Honeymooners. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass straight to the moon, you dumb bitch. Beat your and ass everyone's like, to the ah, moon. laugh track ensues. And I was oh like, that man God. just threatened his wife. That's the catchphrase of the show: is him threatening yeah. his wife, threatening physical harm on his wife. And everyone's like, yeah, it's live audience. This is funny. <laughs> and all the women are like, okay, I guess my husband's <laughs> clapping. I guess I should clap because I don't want to get my. I'm ass in agreement. Yeah, I have to listen to him because he controls the money. Jesus Christ. What a world we built up. <laughs> Absolute control. <laughs> Do y'all ever fuck with Martyr Defiled? A little bit. I like their instrumentals, not a huge fan of vocals. Dude, I fucking. Yeah, the vocalist is a little under underwhelming. I mean, he had some parts where I was just like, okay, that's pretty sick for what he's doing. But um, yeah, as a band. The band holy yeah, shit. The instrumentals are very sick. Oh that's kind of how I feel about a. Uh, uh, oh, God, what's that band called? Um, Human something. The really heavy band. Man. What the fuck's their name? Um, Humanity's Last Breath? Yeah, that's it. Oh, fuck yeah, that bitch. Band, uh, we fucking that, love Humanity's Last that's Breath. That's what this reminds me of a little bit of where the vocalist yeah. is underwhelming, but mm-hmm. the band is so fucking sick that yeah. it doesn't really matter. I feel like I can, I, I don't know what the vocalist of Humanity's Last Breath looks like. So but It kind of goes to my point then because you just popped off for that band and you can't even remember <laughs> what their vocalist sounds like. No, no, looks like. I know oh, what he sounds like. Sound no, like no, no, no. I, I, like, I, I yeah, picture I know, them. Do they have music videos? Aren't they like an online band? Kind of an online band. I think they have one music video now. That they have to, but it's got to be like the. I think if I remember right, it's like the darkest fucking music it's video. It's deathcore. I'm looking yeah. at this video right now, and it could yeah, be this. Yeah, it could be exactly <laughs> this. Yeah, I it's could like put that humanity song uh, over this. And I wasn't uh, there? Is murders a uh, fucking uh, <laughs> topic? What's joke? that one song? Rain of darkness. Yeah, yeah it's that. Yeah, <laughs> the, I know the one yeah. song. The one where everyone's everyone, got a shadow. <laughs> yeah, it's just the shadow. The shadow. Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> 
trapped in the shadow God. realm. He stole my soul, Yugi. Mm. Ma'am. Do you think the uh, Millennium Falcon is yes. is a <laughs> is Star Wars acknowledging that Yu-Gi-Oh is canon to their universe? Because of all the Millennium items in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, <laughs> the Millennium man. Eye, the wow. Millennium Puzzle, yeah. the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What? Millennium. Like it's like a time, it's like a amount, it's a number amount, the millennium. That's, like, that's time just time itself. It's like a, what's that like a, a million thousand, or a thousand or something? Yeah. A thousand years. Yeah. It's just oh, old because okay. when it was like when it was years, this Y2K yeah. it was a new millennium. Oh, okay. okay boom. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Boom. So thousand. that makes sense to me um now. The one thousand falcons. <laughs> it has that much power. The <laughs> power of one thousand falcons. Uh, t- to be fair, if there were Stop a thousand fair. falcons. Okay. I would bow the fuck down. <laughs> they run this shit. There's only one of me. Those yeah, but that's, that's to admit that they're all in agreement in what their main goal is. And okay. that's to blow up and act like, I don't <laughs> know, no, 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 <laughs> But no, like, I, if there was that many Falcons, sure, that's frightening. But are they all coming at you? Like, are they all sentient enough to be like, that's our target? That is our target. Are out. you one of the Falcons in the scenario? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you turn on me. To be fair, Obby, birds aren't fucking real. So... No, I am not one of those birds. I forgot, actually. Yeah, the uh, birds uh, pandemic and terror uh, was the extinction of all birds. <laughs> they all stopped after that. Yeah. All the spawn points got camped until... <laughs> <laughs> Duh, dummy. Duh. Duh. That's what Everyone Pacific Rim that. was about. That's actually an allegory about how birds tried to take over, and we said, nah. So there's actually nah. like a big portal in the bottom of the ocean that birds come through, and the, the, we have a big laser mesh net so any bird that come through there just become yeah. shark food yeah trump's really good at keeping that uh that fucking he's distracting <laughs> us with space force but there's actually like more money going to <laughs> he's sea also force. great at paying for wives <laughs> jesus yeah i guess you're right <laughs> yeah our government's very corrupt trust to no cops i agree fuck cops um do you guys think i'm good at lying no no oh definitely not no (laughs) yeah i think you'd buckle if you tried to commit for like more than 20 seconds oh i'm so bad at lying that's good though that yeah it's pretty good but it's it's pretty embarrassing Great character trait it's pretty embarrassing especially when you really feel like you need to lie you know i think it makes you as a person uh easier to manipulate though Oh, 100 percent. It's definitely not a good survival trait. Yeah, yeah but it's a good I'm gonna moral die. trait. I think I'm mm-hmm. fucked to just have like that discomfort in you to, to lie. You know, that's mm-hmm. a good trait to have. Oh, it's yeah. like a good as in the sense of like Desirable. I would rather I would like to have you around <laughs> rather than. But like he said, yeah, easier to manipulate. But uh, Dude, if you're self aware of, of manipulation, then uh, that can uh, kind of counteract that. A lot of the time, I feel like I'm just not really aware of someone's intentions until. I've really had like a falling out with them. Mm-hmm. It's really scary. Trust like, no um, one, Justin. We even had um, we had a drummer once, way like my first band ever. That I think he just actually had like a real fat crush on me and Casey, and uh, just wanted to like uh, spend time with us. And we were just young kids. Wanted to split you open like a coconut. Yeah, it was weird. There was just like some like <laughs> yeah, lo- really looking did. back on it, there was a lot of just like really. Um, like weird things that he tried pulling on us, you know. Who oh, awkward. Yeah. And we were just like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I feel that. We yeah. like to be in band too. Yeah, kids are super easy to manipulate. Nobody quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> cool, it's not an admission. That's just, I'm just pointing <laughs> light to that. Let's talk about black tongue. When you eat too much spicy food. Lol, that's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, do when, you, uh, watching you, Lord of the Rings and you trying to talk in did, a dark speech? Did y'all ever uh, listen to the newish Black Tongue or the last stuff that they put out? I feel like it went not re- the whole album. Um, yeah, the one after the uh, I the one the my nightmares won't stop and I sighed and God said fuck off mm-hmm. that album <laughs> the La Petite or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, I heard that whole album. I liked it. The comeback album I have not listened to yet. I think I heard one song off that. I'm just not super into like the doomy approach they're going towards. This is not really my favorite yeah. personal yeah. style of music. I'm not I respect super into it. doom. Yeah. Um, still looking for a band I enjoy. It, like this is definitely some of the better doom influenced stuff I've heard. But it's just like, even like the new Acacia Strain. I was saying like I like it, but it's not stuff I'm going back to personally. Yeah. But I can be like, oh, that was cool. 
I yeah, I mean, if anything, if I'm listening to the Acacia Strain, it's uh, it's it, it, I can't say say it twice without fucking up. Is it Ramirez? It comes in waves. Like oh, that's a good one. Th- that was a great, very like you know, doom esque worm, wormwood boy myself. Yeah, yeah, and I and, fucking uh, love wormwood. What was that? The witch one. Uh, that was the one before. The one with the cool comes green, like right? syringe on it. Oh, yeah. I really like. I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, like, Como, Como, Como Witch. Yeah, yeah. I, die, I think that's my favorite album by them. Yeah, that was a good one. And the artwork is just so it's too good. Love it. Too too strong. Absolutely love it. Uh, what's some of your favorite uh, album artwork? Um, you had like a. Favorite? I like that. I, I honestly like a lot of Acacia Strange artwork. Yeah, um, it's great. Dan Mumford stuff always has a soft spot in my heart. Yeah. The older, you know, the hot topic vibe. For a second, I thought you said Mumford and Sons. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Dan <laughs> like, Mumford yeah, and Sons. Okay. Nice. No, I, I not can. that cool. I will wait. I um, will wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of hand drawn stuff. Um, yeah, I, 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 I hate yeah. when I look at something and I'm like, that's just stock pictures layered on top of each other. Not a big fan of that. So my own band's thing. Not a big fan. <laughs> the Withered uh, albums, not stuff like that. Yeah. Not, not my favorite type of things. Uh, dude, this like the new Dark Watch, the new project with myself and uh, Jacob. That artwork we got made up is fucking insane. Love it. It's yeah. Top tier. Yeah, <laughs> like this is my show, favorite type. Show of, Jason. Like the Keel and Alice stuff. That's public. Yeah. I love that type. Or uh, Mirror Wraith, dude. You ever seen their album artwork? No. Oh. Holy fuck! It's insane. Look that up real quick. Mirror Just like a picture of the album. Okay. Uh, I think it's Mirror Wraith. It's something along those lines. I think that's a doom band um, that I'm I'm actually kind of a little into. It's like, it's like stoner doom a little bit, but solely because of how intensely cool their album artwork is for me. I'm just a big fan of this. I don't know the hugely other world realms, if that makes sense. Like it looks like they're in this other like realm of existence that is just like this endless horizon of like smog and or background that doesn't ever stop. Like there's no, you know, trees or anything. It's just nothingness. And then these creatures just like dwell there. Like if you've seen Pacific Rim mm-hmm. when it shows the the light their layer at the end when the, like the bomb goes in and they're just like in this blue world, <laughs> like that type of atmosphere. Just love that type of shit. Man. Oh, it was Mirror Reaper, sorry. Mirror Reaper. That immediately was the first okay. thing I looked up. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, the band is called Bell Witch, I think. And then the song, the album is called Mirror Reaper. And yeah, dude, this artwork is so fucking cool. Oh, I love it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. God, that's hot. This shit? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look at that. Okay, that's good. Isn't that cool? Damn. Look at it. It's literally this gigantic being pe- peering its head through the mirror. And it's cool, too, because it's, like, on the back end, it's a different set of, like, creature hands and stuff. It's, like, phasing through the mirror as a different being. Wow. Coming yeah. through this just different realm of existence. It's so it's cool looking. Yeah, I wonder what that painting's got to look like, you oh, know? Love that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so everyone, it was called Bell Witch, and the album was called Mirror Reaper. Dude, uh, actually, a fucking, really fucking sick record that I've just been bumping a lot recently is... Uh, Good night, Lavelle's uh, record. It's by Night Lavelle. Uh, yeah, the fucking artwork's sick too. <laughs> I just fuck with it, cool. like a skeleton and like some old school gauntlet, like goth, goth shit. Goth. I, is it goth or is it power metal? I I, I don't even know. Gauntlets. That's, gauntlets. Well, that's, that's, that's like, like def- black. Metal. That's like black metal. That's black for sure. Metal, yeah. Definitely not power. Yeah, different type of gauntlets for power metal. They, they're like leather with studs on them rather yeah. than uh, some black metal metal shit. gauntlets. Yeah. Yo, Ch- I don't know, Chon's for- Grow is pretty simple and cool. It's just like a leaf with colorful paint on it. Oh, Chon's Grow, yeah. That is a great fucking record with a just beautiful fucking... Love that album, cover. Yeah. I think Zach has that uh, vinyl, actually. It's so fucking pretty. Yeah, I love that picture. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's literally just a, a, yeah. a fallen plant what? or a leaf out in the middle of nature with diff- cool paint splattered on it. Yeah, Super oil simple. paint. simple. Yeah. Looks awesome. Beautiful. Love it. All right, I think last thing uh, we should like a last thing I want to talk about on this uh, this episode of this podcast. Number one, how do we uh, <laughs> how how are we feeling about King Eight Ten recently? Recently, yeah, I don't think I've heard their recent stuff. Uh, very, I'm very a, different. They're kind of taking a much more like chaotic. Uh, I like the to conversation with God album. Yeah, La Petite, whatever La Petite Mort. Yeah, you know, I feel like they released Suicide King just like. 
Under the Radar. I, I don't even know about that album. Yeah. Gotta be honest. I, I think I've listened to a few songs off of it. But specifically with like this new image that Midwest on, Monsters is that like, the most uh, recent? Like look at what David's doing with his fucking appearance and shit. He's, he's rocking like the different color contacts lenses. He's oh, kind of like... Uh, Doing a, oh, dude, I like, a light dread to his hair. Did the other dudes they got a fucking king mask? Yeah, they're it's pretty cool. The rock and masks and shit. But uh, I'm into that. Yeah, just like I, no, don't, I don't know. Their older stuff, they have some. They have bangers like yeah, on every record. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think um, like Alpha Omega is sick. Yeah, uh, Memoirs of a Murder was yeah, a great very, fucking record. That, that was their, the original record to uh, the La Petite, the first song on that album, the Heavy Lies the mm-hmm. Crown. It's the heaviest song. fucking thing. Yeah, it is straight up thing. the heaviest thing. It's like cement falling down a the the pit in uh, three hundred. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I guess they're absolutely. Old, uh, I guess uh, King Eight Ten's bass player used to play for Chiodos like back in the day. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah, homie's just playing in Chiodos next second. You know, he's in like fucking the gang. That's awesome. He's just like wow. living at a house. Have you heard their vocalist first band? Um, Queen Queen Four Hundred Five. No, I have not. Queen 405. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no! No. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, everyone. Trust I me, I'm not looked, this cool. I looked at Jason in disbelief. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we just had that moment. Uh, that we looked at my each other brain. Like, oh my, he doesn't get it. Fuck, he God, he's really about to type this in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't deserve to be alive anymore. Dude, it's fine. No. You ever seen Community? <laughs> the show Community? I don't want to respond. Oh, if you've seen that show, you'll understand that being the lightning rod in a situation is a valued and thankless job. Yes. Is it? Is it even a show? Yeah, yeah Community. Yeah. It's about? got Donald Glover yeah. in it, bro. I Donald Glover, Don, uh, what's his name? Trust That's you, one of my um, shows. Dude, dude Community's really know. good. Jason's Pro- in Pro- it's now. underrated, okay. too. Try and all about handshake. Watch this. You know oh, my God. Your best friend? Did we make it up? <laughs> no. But there's no way we played. We could have. Yeah, what the heck? I thought we had a secret handshake. It's not. It's from the show. It's, I was just proving to you that it's not made up. That okay. we both knew that without telling each well, other. Well, Jason and I definitely have a secret handshake. <laughs> That's fine. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just. I'm trying to help you out. Now you're like. Yes. Your, you're pulling yourself out of shame by making fun of me now. Yep. Yep. We're trying to make you feel better. You're like, Bobby, I got a whole lot of trauma I got to spread before I leave. Okay. Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> okay. So the number one, <laughs> number one. So, buckle up. When I was six, I got a pebble stuck in my pee pee. I haven't quite got what? it out. One time, I went to Westport. Westport. To my dad was like trying to make me a man again, and he make was taking me crabbing. He wanted me to like learn how to be a sailor or some right. shit. Like being a man means killing things. Yeah, <laughs> not true. Killing things and controlling women. That's what men do. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I don't know how, but he facilitated this idea in my head that like a crab crawled up my fucking pee pee. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> like, yeah. was pinching it's my a wide urethra. Dick. <laughs> and I just remember him like ripping my pants off in public because I'm screaming bloody murder that, because I think there's a fucking crab. And then everyone my around fucking... you thought your dad was trying to fucking molest you. Did you <laughs> rip your pants <laughs> off and you cry? <laughs> And he's just like, give me those pants. That's, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, that's absolutely how it has to look to just some random stranger like, oh, look, honey, that's not our thing. Like a, t- a tourist from Seattle's like, oh, we're here to see the seals. And like, oh, my God. <laughs> give me that fucking dick. <laughs> let me see it. Let me see that. Come on, I got to squeeze the crap out of your pee. Let oh. me see that peen. Let me see that little peen. <laughs> what is this, a fucking sad world skit? <laughs> Let me see that peen. Mmm. Yes. It Love tastes it. of that meaty gristle. <laughs> Just want to chew on it, rub my teeth. <laughs> want to put you in my basement and forget about you. Yeah, so thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just hard, <laughs> hard cut. Yeah. All, right. All right, y'all. Anything we want to say before we're done with uh, today's little putty? Uh, yes, yeah, little... what's your favorite dad noise? Dad noise? It's probably. I'm gonna <laughs> <He> try. <made laughs> one. I was about to like really just let out like a wow. fucking moan or something. Like a, <laughs> my favorite dad uh, noise is that's a moan. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, like that's a your man. like a fucking pleasureful moan, like a <sighs> or something. Dad's like, a or, dad <laughs> moan. You want to <laughs> you want to check out my <laughs> your dad doesn't that moan your like dad? that, Jason. Said, what's your favorite dad noise? And Justin goes. Uh. <laughs> What kind of dad trauma you got, homie? I don't fucking know. It's I just sh- coming up. It's coming out of nowhere. I'm I scared. shared a room with my father for 10 years this and pod- heard him nut every night. 
this podcast can't end or else I'll start breaking down. I'm just I'm hanging on. Breaking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so favorite is that really your final answer? The moan <laughs> for favorite dad noise. No one's got a better dad noise than me. Like better. That was F tier dad noise. What do you what do you mean better? I could, I could cough right now and be a better dad noise. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh my god. That's my favorite porn category. Dad moaning. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Father moaning. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Fucking Christ, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Quite literally. Good. Like that's in the title, quite literally. Fucking quite Christ. literally. That's the title of the first video. It's like a what's that weird? I uh, probably shouldn't talk about that. St- <laughs> oh, stigmata hand jobs. No, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, t- I'm talking. Uh, there's this fucking porn channel that. Uh, yeah, they- stigmatahandjobs.org. <laughs> It's a free. It's, it's, <laughs> yes, it's, 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 it's no, no profit. Service, yeah. No profit. Why, why? Why else? For God. Yes. Something about uh, it's, uh, the. It's harder for. It's like the, the people. It's <laughs> the harder for a rich man. It's as hard as a rich man to get in heaven as it is to put a camel through the eye of a needle or something like that. Jesus. It's like a Bible quote. Oh my God! Really? I think. Oh is, yeah. Yeah. Very, Boom. Really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think Jason's you gotta know gotta the be, things you make fun of. Justin. I think Jason's got to be the most. Like you had to religious. have been the most I, I religious. Grew up in church, yeah. yeah, I did too. But like, I, I can Inside like, it? I still see like the father in you. You know, <laughs> <Is that>? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you want to hear me moan? <laughs> <laughs> Take those. I can see my father in you. <laughs> I, I gave you my sweatshirt because I fantasized ripping it off your cold dead body, Jason. I see the father. <laughs> It's such a funny thing to say to somebody. Man, I can see the Father in you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like the Holy Father. Like, <laughs> like just, you think I'd be a good dad? Oh my God! I can see it in you, man. <laughs> Fetishes are wild, boys. <laughs> uh, you guys ever? Uh, are you guys familiar with Vor? Vor with a V? Yeah. Vor? <laughs> no, with, a, with, a, with an X. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I, I I'm it was the you third right. one. I was, it was the third one. I wasn't going to be a smart ass, but then you said it again. I was like, oh my yes, god. the V. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so Vor is the, the like uh, arousal or the fetish- fetishization of wanting to be uh, swallowed alive by a large what? Uh, oh like a whale? Like, no, something. like a person, like a large woman what? or a large man. Prefer- it's usually a, a large woman. It's made up. It's like drawings oh, and stuff. It's okay. not like it's not like you could really do that, obviously, but there, it's, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's a whole category where the, like being <laughs> It's like it's I'm thinking like, like Attack a, on a Titan or some wet shit, you know? Area and then being plopped into their stomach and then like oh communicating God. with them like you, you, wow. how you doing in there? Like, <laughs> Great, just fuck, love it, just fuck. Like fucking yeah, would be so much. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not dying on the hill for them. I'm just explaining. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. I'm, I'm just like adding Come on, to this. Austin, just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching those weird boy stuff? Just fuck. Just, just let me fucking watch you. <laughs> Fuck. Just let me watch Vor, dude. <laughs> Got my back about it. All right, guys. I think it's time to get out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, say good night. Good night for us all. Okay. Say good good night. night. Good night, sweetie. I know you're listening to this. It's bedtime mm. for you. It's getting kind of late over yeah, there. Yeah, sweetie. You had a real hard day. Wow. I just wish I could rub yeah, your it's shoulders just, right it's just now. Us, your three what? boyfriends here mm. to tuck you in. I just want to give you the hug. Wow. Yeah. Him and then me. Good night. And then, then him. You're looking mm. at me, and I'm just yeah. crying. Whatever you want, baby. We're here to just. Give you the old rub down or give you the old hug down. Like, I've whatever just you never want, seen baby girl. So fuck it's you. just your three <laughs> quarantine boyfriends here. <laughs> just just to tuck you in. Just cry. I brought a I brought a bagel and he's sad. Like, <laughs> you can have a snack <laughs> or you can listen to him weep. Like, it's which so one of your three boyfriends do you want to hang out with, baby? <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking weeping right now. Oh like, my god! We could be eating while he weeps if you no, want. No, sweetie, wake up! I'm just happy that this, we're we we're can here. take this downstairs Together if you want. Moment. I'm the more aggressive of the three boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know yeah, boundaries just, or respect them. I can't wait to pan this out in the headphones. Yeah, don't so listen, listen to him. Look at me. Headphones. I'm going to grab your cheek a little too hard and push you towards me so we're making eye contact. Mm. Wow. Is that hot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for oh, listening yeah. to the podcast. It's me, your boy Jebby. It's mm-hmm. uh, your other boy, fucking Throbcast. Call me Throbcast. 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 Yeah, this has been a pretty horny podcast due to the fucking coronavirus. Jesus. Uh, yeah, fucking. And we Jason. also got. It. And yeah, thank you guys for having me. This has been great. Of course, dude. Thanks for being on the cast, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. been uh, a fucking wacky. We've been time. all over the place, but it's fun. These podcasts yeah. are just fun. They're not. For learning purposes, <laughs> just for fun. This is educational for me. So oh, shit, that's fair. I'm yeah. having fun. Uh, you know, I'm learning I'm glad a lot you guys about life. Yeah. But I'm that's what this fun. is about. We're all learning about life, right? Hell yeah! Every day is a new day. Magic, no reading rainbow. Um, my friends, you bow to no one. Peace out. See ya.